get ourselves situated. All right. Look at you sitting all high up. Mm-hmm. Guys, I... guys don't see it, but she's actually got a nice high Indian style thing going on. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Charlie checking in. Hi, guys. Erica checking in. Hanging out with you all. Uh, what's today? Thursday? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> COVID has messed our days up, guys. Happy throwback Thursday to every single one of you guys. Hopefully, y'all having a great night. And thank every single one of you guys for joining us. First one in the house, uh, Carrie Lamarck. Hi, Carrie. What's up? She says, hey. Welcome, Carrie. Hey, much love to you right there. We got Bama for life in the house. Bama. My dude, Little Money X, what's up, brother, man? Want you to know I've been getting your messages, man. You know, on on uh, uh, PlayStation and stuff. But uh, we just can't seem to link up and play Jason. I'll sit there and play like two or three uh, uh, rounds or whatever, and then I'm done with it, kind of, you know, for a yeah, couple hours. that's how Charlie does it. He'll play a round or two. And, and then, then I'll loaf off for an hour or two and then come back to it. So, yeah, sorry that sorry, I'm, I'm not linking up with you guys like I should, man. Andrew Diggs in the house. What's up, hey, Andrew? Hey, Much Andrew love to see you, man. And his pretty lady. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're having an awesome time. I think he's in here somewhere in North Carolina now. He moved yeah. here to be closer with his daughter, so that's super awesome, man. Yeah, super, super awesome. Got Cotty Wample in the house. Hey, Miss Rebecca, happy gonna birthday. Be, she's going to be at my house tomorrow. Yep, Miss Rebecca's coming over to the house this weekend, guys. We're going to try to find some uh, some abandoned stuff to check out. And finally, I've been wanting to go back to Asheville for so long. I think we're going back to Asheville this weekend, guys. Check out some graffiti, uh, some uh, secret Masonic, weird Masonic museum down in a basement. <laughs> Remember that? Right. Oh, my yeah, God. that was pretty Chicken strange. Alley. Um. Uh. 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 What was that? Uh. Sealy Mansion. Sealy. Uh. Yes. The. Uh. The. Uh. The. The church out there. There's a really beautiful tabernacle out there. Right. And it a lot sounds, of stuff to show you guys. It sounds kind of strange whenever we're you're like, yeah, we're going to go see graffiti, but in Asheville, it's not like regular graffiti. It's the arts district. There's yeah. actual artists out there, and they let them. Um. These businesses let them do their buildings with all kinds of crazy. Right. As long as you know how to draw. Right. Y'all yeah. remember um, <laughs> there was a picture, the picture of Charlie with um, Homer Simpson. It was like a big Homer Simpson on the whole building. So that one. And I the, am hoping that that one is still there. The naked fat lady. <laughs> that was my favorite, I think, of the I day. I love big bitches. It's my fucking problem. <laughs> That's what it was actually engraved into the uh, wall of that painting. So anyways, right. guys, we've got a lot of fun stuff uh, uh, coming up for us. You know what I mean? Uh, and Miss Rebecca, you know what I mean, to celebrate her birthday this weekend. Also, Dad's birthday tomorrow, guys. You know, so I uh, thought about doing some sticky turkey wings. But uh, I think we're going to have to make a, a – we're going to have to pass on that, sadly. <laughs> you know, we'll find something else to do anyways. And uh, – yeah, we'll still, uh, uh, we'll still, um, so, you know. <laughs> There's some artwork, some dad. graffiti. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right. We're going to get struck with that. They're All posting, right. they're posting <laughs> porno on his channel again. Charlie's posting porno oh, on his channel yes. again. <laughs> Don Vito in the house. What is up, man? Jimmy Melendez, Feller. Did you say Chicken Alley? Yeah, it's called Chicken Alley, bro. Place out in Asheville. Where uh, literally all the chickens would congregate, man. They said that they would have down in Asheville, you know, back in the day before power and all that shit, outdoor shops and stuff where outdoor butchers, they'd people would come from, you know, the local area and surrounding areas selling their goods and their meats and shit, and said that all the chickens would end up congregating in Chicken Alley. Blah, 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 blah. They say that this is where like a, a doctor would end up getting stabbed to death in like 1905. Trying to stop a fight. We'll talk about that. Yeah, you guys might have heard of Chicken Alley before. Kevin Zerfus in the house turning a wrench for us. Thank hey, you so Kevin. much, brother. Tan Man in the house. Much love to you, brother. Mr. Tan all, of, all of our tool men are in the house. Much love. We appreciate every single one of you guys. 802 Stewart fan. Miss Brenda Pika in the house. Thank you for joining us. Matt Gray. Charlie, do you remember me tonight? <laughs> Erica says that she kind of thinks she remembers you a little I bit. I do. I definitely yeah, do. Yeah. After, after the live stream, I went in there. She was like, babe. She was you like, Matt him. Gray. I'm like, no. I'm sorry. I apologize. I hope I didn't offend you too much, man. No, there's just so many people that kind of come and go, you, you know, like you guys will be really active for a couple of months. And then Paul, we'll, guess in the house. We won't see you for a couple of months. So sometimes we got to go back and be like, oh, yeah, that was them. So it, yeah. sometimes we just got to be reminded. Yeah. So I, I apologize. Like I said, I apologize about that, man. And I really appreciate all the love and support and the following, you know, wanting, you know, <laughs> interested in trying to help us, you know, um, uh, 
keep the streets clean, which it hadn't been too bad here lately. No, not you, at all. No, not at all. I would actually get a message. Oh, my God. I opened it up for earlier. <laughs> I don't know how many of y'all remember the damn that uh, troll Kimmy K. She would come on here and try to, you know, just really give y'all grief and hell, you know. Well, now you, may knows. <laughs> you two had, yeah, two, yeah, he knows where Kimmy K is. Well, anyway, she, she messaged me trying to, I don't know what the hell she was trying to do. Cause I, I, you know, I would, I would say, Hey, or something like that. And then look four hours later and she had done posting a shit ton of comments, you know, went from haha, what's up to talking shit again. So I'm like, damn, you know, just take your meds. <laughs> and Kimmy K, if you're watching, you know, you know, I don't mean that bad, like shit. You know, I don't know. We wish you well. Yeah. And see, it's awesome. Cause I love it whenever like, Certain haters and trolls actually come at come join the other join our side. You know what I mean? They're right. like, okay, like after a certain point, there is no denying. You know and what I mean? That, the I mean, if they're denying it at this point, then <laughs> you know, then they have chosen to. You know, it, it's to. it's by choice, not uh, fear or because they just need to be part of something. Yeah, and that you know that that really is a big thing. You know, just feeling like you're a part of something, even right. even if it is causing damage, it doesn't really the out matter the outcome. People these days just want to be a part of something, even if it's a mob, right. as it were, you know? Well, I mean, different and, uh, people attract different things. Yeah, and you're right. So, exactly. Like, we got ourselves a wolf pack, you right. know, wonderful, caring. If you're just a negative, hateful, nasty person that just wants to go around bullying people and nitpicking. Ace and, man in the house. What is up, brother? You fit right in. You got somewhere to go. You know, that's what you get, you know? And, right. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's why I feel like, you know, that's why we have such wonderful, caring uh, uh, support of people out there, all of you guys, you know, because we try to do our best and, you know, bringing the positive out of ourselves, you know what I mean? Right. And you guys see that on camera, you know, and, uh, and, and yeah, you know, we're not always constantly in negative crap, you know, like, uh, you see people are so invested in, in hating us, you know what I'm saying? Hi, <laughs> Jimmy Melendez. People are so like invested in hating us, like they don't want to see us do good. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like and 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 it and, and, and it's so awesome right now because like we are doing so great right now. Erica just got her job. Once again, congratulations. Woo! Woo! Got her a damn really good job, almost 20 bucks an hour. I'll go ahead and say it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, you know, I went and I took myself an interview today. Uh, went really well. You know, I'm waiting for the call back. Hopefully, I've got me a job starting soon. Um, you know, most money I've ever made before, you know, and, uh, Gonna be making almost 20 also. Woo! Oh my God, guys. You know? And so, yeah, you know, things are looking well. You all helped us out yesterday with a, uh, a, a Christmas gift, man. Want to thank every single one of you that donated, uh, Paul and his wife, Nika, um, uh, Miss Rebecca for setting up. Yeah. She's already got it ordered and, ordered and everything. the house. And, uh, you know, also want to thank Isaac as well. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. your hate, guys. I would wake up yesterday morning and somebody would share some, you know. Uh, Being hateful yeah. sends us so much love. Like he would try, like he tried, I guess, you know, to, to jump on us for having uh, a pay or go fund me for a new heater, guys. Like, because <laughs> it gets so cold in here. Our friend Rebecca. But see, the thing is, I didn't even know about it. She didn't tell me. I learned about it on Twitter whenever you guys learned about it. And right. I was like, hey, and I think I posted <laughs> some eyeballs. Like, what are you talking about? So, well, I mean, you know, it doesn't even matter if we did make it. You right. know, like anybody that makes things that, you know, GoFundMe's for things that, to help Isaac himself, you know, how many years in a row has he made, has he made a GoFundMe to save his house, you know, and give kids right. Christmas and stuff. And even forced dad into damn sharing it, which, of course, it wasn't dad. Dad wasn't running that, his Facebook account at that point. Right. You know, by then, Michael and Bridget were running the account, and they even admitted it. But what happened was- Google was a piece of shit. Thank you so much, up, brother. It had been up for a couple of days, and um, I think it had gained like $30 or something. But as soon as he started being hateful and negative towards us, it went and <laughs> shot up to over $400. You guys paid it off. In that day, <laughs> so you guys, in like 12 are freaking, hours, you guys, guys are awesome. <laughs> y'all definitely stepped forward, you know, and you showed them all. You were like, you know what? Screw all you haters out there. We love Charlie, we love Erica. So keep hating, you know, they're doing the right thing, you know, and we're going to support that, you know. And you know, that really, that really does, you know, talk volumes, you know, for you know, just cause and effect for karma, you know what I mean? Just go out and just do the right thing and uh, uh, uh be a good you. person, you know what I mean. And you will Google attract is good a piece people. Of shit. He's sending me a rose. I'm going to accept you. that. You can't have that. <laughs> well, you know, every rose has its thorn, so I'll be your thorn. <laughs> He's your rose. I'm your thorn. <laughs> but, guys, you know, like, I've lost a little bit of that 
points now. I'm like, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a worn thorn now, as it were. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm thankful for that. Super thankful, guys. So awesome. And uh, we're waiting for our friend Rebecca to get in the house, guys. She sent us a box here. And look, man, $52.95 for the shipping. She wow. really, really wanted us to have that box. I haven't lifted it up. It's, it must be pretty heavy. <laughs> a little heavy. Here she is. Oh, she is here. here in the house. Awesome. Rebecca, so look. very awesome. And uh, look. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's still wearing it, guys. I tried to find my... There you go, Silva. How about that, Iranga? <laughs> I trust my dude, Iranga. Charlie might have wore <laughs> his shirt out. I, bet, I, I Yeah, I, I wore my shirt a lot. I, I, I think I put it in like a side pile, uh, uh, um, and I can't find it. <laughs> Damn it. You know, yeah. we wanted to show you that we Charlie, had our stuff. <laughs> yeah, he was actually wearing his, and I had mine put up. I knew, I knew where it was, so we pulled it out tonight. Yeah. So she uh, she decided to send us a really special box, and I think that we ought to go ahead and open it up while the night is still young. Open it up. Yeah. See what all it is. We can, you know, talk a little bit about the haters, you know, and then we're just going to go back to focusing on the love. Swing, swing. Ceremonial knife. I told him about the knife. It's grandpa's knife. Grandpa's knife. My little nephew gave it to me when we went and saw them. Oh, you told him who gave no, it? No, I didn't tell him who. I just said nephew. Oh. <laughs> Erica got to meet one of my nephews not long ago. Yeah. Got a pictures together. We didn't share it on. We didn't share it on social media. Not trying to kick up any we dust. Were, we were told not to share the picture. We were told not media. to share it, so we obeyed. You know, we got to go with the narrative. They here. didn't. They didn't say that I couldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so yeah, those little loopholes. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves a big box here from our friend Rebecca Swilling out of Arizona. I have yet to eat the uh, scorpion sucker, man. I have clickbaited that thing for a year now. <laughs> Played with it, you know, deciding whether or not, and you know, you know, you know whether I like it or not, uh, um, insects are in my future. I don't want to eat bugs. Insects are in my future. Erica doesn't have to, but our uh, our friend Rebecca Terry, our Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Becky actually is coming this weekend, bringing some dehydrated bugs and stuff that we'll be she, eating on the live stream. She gave us the box, and the first thing I saw was cricket heads and eyeballs and their little like <laughs> their little faces and, and little thorax. beady eyeballs and I'm like I have to eat cricket eyeballs like it's a whole cricket what if I get a cricket leg stuck in my tooth or something I'm <laughs> you not might. looking forward to you this. might I've you got holes got little in my hairs teeth. yeah and like little spikies on them yeah oh good lord yeah I think that <laughs> I would eat a couple of mealworms one time before like honestly like like I'll do, I'll, I'll go ahead and do two different versions if you want. Like I can do the whole heightened uh, deal, but quite honestly, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Like they're all they're dehydrated. I think it's going to be like it's going to be like Cheerios. Or the, something. the taste isn't going to be nasty. It's the mental it's thing. The idea. Ace eighty eight says um, Charlie will sneak them to the cats. The cats aren't going to eat them either because they're <laughs> dusted in like ranch dressing, <laughs> like a ranch powder or something. There's, I think there's like maybe a barbecue. I don't know what the flavors are. So it's but. probably going to be almost like a pork rind or something. Yeah, it's going to be, An it'll taste like a, like a ranch potato chip We're is probably what it'll rinds. taste like, but I'm still, it's got legs and uh, eyeballs. Okay, moving on. Blech. <coughs> I'm going to look it in the box. Okay, does she have a, yes, a, I am. She have a letter here that we need to look at first? A letter? Real quick, because there is a book right here that I want to share with you all. Okay, you know what? We'll go ahead and save this for last. Maybe okay. there's a letter down there. I'm in the so bottom. excited. There looks like so much <laughs> stuff in here. Cactus candy. Prickly pear cactus candy. Is that made with cactuses or is Interesting. it like, you know, Jolly Rancher is an apple candy? Right, because then you see this cactus candy chocolate bar. Is cactus candy just like a local Arizona kind of a... Uh, it's actually made out of cactuses. Really? Yeah, cactus is a member of the Opuntia. Opuntia. That sounds like a cuss word in Spanish. Poontangers. <laughs> These poontangers, they make cacti and candy. It's, and it starts with saying it's been a food force, for, food source for the Native Americans for many centuries. Their large cactus colorful blossoms poontang. appear in yellow, Opunta. pink, and red. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's definitely made out of. What's up, Tucker fan with vlogs? Uh-uh. Ooh, I want some of them little flowers right there on top, man. Was that peyote? Like what Beavis and Butthead tripped on in the desert? 
It is oh. not because it, it, the the main ingredient is sugar, mm -hmm. sugar, water, um, and prickly pear juice. Prickly pear juice. Okay. So maybe it's the prickly pear is part of the cactus and it has the juice in it. Huh. Either way, I really like the, the packaging. I'm going to try one. You want to try one? This is prickly pear cactus naturally flavored cactus candy chocolate bar. Prickly. So it's like a prickly pear flavor. This is probably going to be like, uh, yeah, the prickly oh, pear. Oh, wow. This looks really like Ooh. fancy. Oh, my goodness. This is like what grandma would leave on the cat on the table. Ah! Get you a piece of candy. Sugar. Now they're thick. Thick, but it's like glittery. Y'all can't really tell. Glittery. Yeah, it's glittery. Yeah. It's gonna be it's like, almost a, like gummy. a bar of soap. It's a it's a gummy. Yum. Just get a little bite because it's really sweet. It's got a very crunchy rind to it. It's almost sour. Yes, it's got the sugar and the texture of like those little orange wedge. Yeah, the orange wedge mm -hmm. candies is yeah. what it's like, but the prickly pear flavor is not orange. It doesn't taste like orange. It tastes more like a raspberry or something. Yeah, and it's I can taste that lemon in there. Right. It's really good. Not bad. Holy crap! I like that a lot. Yeah, because Charlie likes his Ooh, gummies. I do like my gummies, but baby, that Ooh, is sweet. That's a lot of sweet. I'm getting older, guys. You guys. You, you know you get old when you got candy just sitting around the house. We got Snickers and shit and, you know, soda pops and shit. Buy a soda, drink half of it, leave it in the refrigerator. Guess what, guys? I have an announcement. To, well, okay, we'll finish our box. Let's do it. Oh, you want to? Huh? I don't, I don't even know what the announcement I, is. I know, because I'm going to tell y'all something that I wasn't going to tell y'all. So okay. remind me. Okay. Y'all all remind her. You want to <laughs> hear something she wasn't going to tell you all. Now we're all just a light with intrigue, you know. Hold on to that thought and... um. La uh, Lady Thumper, we love you back. Dude, too. D&T rebuild it. You know what? It almost has like a scratchy aftertaste flanting. I almost feel like I ate like like pe prickly pears. Prickly pears. I swear <laughs> to God, dude. It's almost like cut, 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 cut. Almost like um, like if you had some pepper. Pop in your rocks or something. So I can almost feel like a pop rock. I can almost like an acidy. Acidy. Pop rock. Here we got the the chocolatey. Chocolate. I love chocolate. Oh! oh Haribo, Haribo. I love my Haribo. Yes. Guys, I really, really enjoy uh, my gummy, bear. gummy bears. You know, it seems like everyone in the family, oh. well, not everyone, me and Michael share that flavor. And what I if really it's like a five pound bag that'll be gone within a week? Mm. I'll try and pace myself. But now that I've got one and took these teeth out, I might need something to gum on. Huh? No, he can eat <laughs> Snickers again. Yay! He can eat things that he wasn't able to eat because he didn't want to get stuff that's get stuck in there. So. Snickers was my favorite uh, uh, Halloween candy growing up. Uh, what is y'all? Just spam the chat with your favorite Halloween candy. Favorite Halloween? Uh, we Halloween? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know how. Favorite oh, Halloween candy. candy. That, that prickly pear's got you going. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's all this sugar. I really enjoyed the Snickers. You know, it was like a meal. It was the best. Reese's. Corn nuts? Hey, what the fuck? You got to be the odd man out with your corn nuts, huh? I didn't like corn nuts. I swear to God. I like I'm, corn nuts. I'll never forget the first time I tried a corn nut. I hated it. I like them, though, but oh, it's not Milky a Way. I am Milky Way all the, all the way right now because my teeth, I can't chew peanuts and stuff. Milky Way is just like my jam. Milky Way and just regular Hershey. Snickers and Reese's have to be number one for me because I'm a chocolate. If I'm going to go, if I after I eat all of my chocolate... And I'm going for something like not the chocolate, then seems to be like Reese's is the hard winner here. Skittles and nerds. Nerds. If I after if I'm like, oh, I want something sweet, but I don't want chocolate. If right. I wanted like the fruity, right. then you know what I used to do? Skittles. And I love nerds. People don't like nerds, but I love them. Well, it's just like what just like it's just like hard granulated sugar, fruit flavored sugar. Yum. The pink ones. It's not bad. I really enjoy like putting nerds in my uh and like my smoothie or my like my, my slushy or whatever, you know, at Sonic, you can you can add, you know, stuff. I would add the strawberries and the and the nerds. My sister Dawn would hook me up. Yeah. Much love to your sister. Miss Cotty Wampo, the caramel apple suckers. I love them too. Caramel apple suckers. Those are the bomb. Whenever they give them to us in school, then it was like a treat. We were all like, oh yeah. Well, speaking of yes. that, let's get to this because uh, this is triggering something from my childhood. I don't know if we could find it. This is my absolute favorite too. I love Tootsie Roll. 
Tootsie Rolls. Cotton candy sweet is gold. You can't have my Tootsie Rolls. Get it back to the left. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> no, but actually, I'm sorry. Uh, they're, they're not in there. All right. <laughs> uh, but if you guys, I don't know if you guys ever remember the Sixlets. They're little, uh, a little, uh, uh, little tubes of chocolate beads, uh, similar to uh, M and M's, but they're smaller and they're, um, uh, they're maybe a little mushier, and they come in like little small packs like that. And you pop one in and you kind of pinch them into your mouth. How many of y'all actually remember uh, Sixlets? No, they're called Sixlets. Yeah, Mark Jones. My mom loves Sixlets, bro. Like I, I swear to God, every time I, I, I see a Sixlet, bro, I think of my mama, dude. And I saw that bag right there and immediately thought of mom, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, so. I see Mr. Xander, Xander D. Xander, what's up, chat. brother? What's welcome, up to you? welcome him. And I read a comment. I believe that he said that his son has been watching, too. Is. is his name Alexander? Alexander. So, welcome, guys. Welcome, 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 guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, we keep you entertained. <laughs> guys, like I say, we're going back out to uh, Asheville this weekend. There's another... Old abandoned school. I thought I saw my dude explore North Carolina in here. I didn't know. But, yeah, man, there's one part of this school that's all burnt out, you know, and is regrown with vegetation. And shit. It looks really cool, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, and I'll try and make it spooky, too. I'll try and make it extra spooky for you guys. <laughs> extra spooky. Extra spooky. What do we got here? Candy rocks. They look more like salamander eggs. These, I think. Gilla monster um, eggs. Oh, are they going to be chocolate? Sugar? It's probably the same thing like that is, but, like. <laughs> Right. They almost look like those quail eggs. Matter of fact, you know. Yeah, like the quail eggs. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, You're going to try We're going to call them Gila eggs. These are from Arizona. Gila eggs. These are either Gila eggs or Roadrunner eggs. What are they actually called? Ca candy rocks. Candy rocks. Candy rocks. Charlie's back They're on the rock eggs. again. They're lizard eggs. Charlie smokes crack. Charlie smokes crack. Charlie eats candy rocks. <laughs> Funny. Don't you know the haters are watching, uh, watching right now like, he doesn't deserve this. They are the all of y'all just eat up Charlie's shit. You just eat my shit up, don't you? You just buy into my to my schemes, <laughs> and you just don't listen to them anymore. And they're not happy with it. Y'all need to start listening to the trolls and haters again. <laughs> I'm gonna try a blue rock. This is blue in half. with a little specky. Dude. Yeah, like a jelly bean. Ugh. Oversized jelly bean. I didn't like that one. Oh, this one is uh, toothpaste. It's toothpaste. <laughs> this is okay. toothpaste. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I have the capacity of being honest with my fans. I'm not really a big... Winter fresh bubble gum. It's the blue winter fresh bubble gum. I got to swallow that is. one down. <sighs> I had to lubricate that one down. And I don't know why I'm going back for seconds because look how, look how unappealing this one is. <laughs> gonna try the brown rebecca is this your jam right here <laughs> <laughs> is this what you like rebecca you like sitting out in the desert eating rocks cinnamon that's like a that's that one is almost like a hot tamale hot tamale mm. oh my god guys yum the dreaded black one licorice I oh already my god it. it looks like jaws's eye if the old great white shark had cataracts, <laughs> you know I got to. You're on your own, buddy. I'm just gonna pop the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> I think the older you get, the better black licorice taste. Yeah. There's just something about it. That's like, not off-putting. Not really. <laughs> it's probably it's better than the toothpaste. Yeah. Oh my God, dude! I am actually enjoying black licorice over here. I'm not. I don't want to try it. Okay. I wonder what this red one is, though. I'm gonna try it later, though, because I've had enough gummies. Uh, that was quite toxic, right there. Ah, ah, that's strange, Rebecca. Tell me, Rebecca, do you really like enjoy? Do you really enjoy these, or is this something that you know? What I'm saying you just thought that I'd enjoy on my shelf because that's pretty much all that's gonna happen with that one. <laughs> oh my god! Oh gosh! What? It's strange. Licorice. <laughs> I smell it. I got, I got, I got death <laughs> breath. <laughs> I'll never forget the very first time I ever tried licorice, guys. <clears throat> I mean, I was like four or five years old. I forget my age. Because I don't forget that fucking licorice, man. My uncle Gordon, 
uh, my dad's sister husband, mm-hmm. he would he would chew this bubble gum called bubble gum called blackjack. And uh, people, they were sitting around the table like, man, I don't see how the hell you can chew that shit, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I just come up and I'm like, I want some bubble gum. You know, and they're all decided, let's trick Charlie. <laughs> let's trick little Charlie. Here you go. You want you a stick of gum? And I pulled it out and I looked and it was black. <laughs> and I'm sure I balked at it for a moment, you know, and they told me it was chocolate or some shit like that, you know. <laughs> and then I ate it. I remember spitting it right out there and they all busted out laughing. Grandma, Aunt Charlene. <laughs> Hopefully, if you guys are listening right now, y'all are reliving that memory. If I just pulled a blind manner moment on them, they're probably laughing their asses off. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So I figured I'd share that with you, man. Right. Sprinkle some little throwback stories in here for you while we check this stuff out. All right. Here we have a couple of. Oh, my God. What? We have individually wrapped bottles. Oh, no. That, I mean, we're either looking at either soda pops, strange sodas, or. Yeah, because there's a sauces. whole bunch of these. Ooh, there's some clothes down here too. Let's not, let's not, let's not pull, pull too much out. Ooh, shot. I thought that was shot glass. I'm about to say, I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> Sound bite that one. Get drunk. All right, guys, what lies behind this veil? <laughs> oh! Wow, they're different hot sauces. Arizona gunslinger. Chipotle habanero. And just regular habanero. Um, habanero pepper. It seems like the darker, like I was talking about labels the other day. That's a blue label. That's probably darker. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn my butt off. We made chili and There's I didn't a- have no hot sauce to put in my chili. <laughs> so now I do. Yeah. Guys, I ate so much chili. It was like it, 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 chili and cornbread stop. is so amazing, guys. It's almost like a it's almost like a savory birthday cake. An Arizona birthday cake is chili and cornbread. No. Ugh. Uh. Guys, that's video worthy right there. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum habanero. Holy crap. What's that say on the back here? Uh, small batch style. <laughs> the heat that you can eat. It says there's a brand new bubble gum flavor in town. We have combined the great classic bubble gum flavor inside this bottle <laughs> with the searing heat of habanero pepper. <laughs> Our new hot sauce is packed full of childhood memories. If your childhood, you know, resulted in chewing on hot bubble gum or. <laughs> I'm thinking, what would you even maybe, put that in? I was, I was thinking maybe we'll do some bubble gum chicken wings. Bubble gum chicken wings? How do y'all think? I, I just like the name of that title, bubble gum chicken wings. Well, or we could do it, like, just make a bunch of wings and then just taste test all of these on wings. Okay, so the way they say this, take it harkens you back to your childhood, playing outside in the summer, chewing bubble gum and blowing bubbles. So just the heat of the summer combined with the the bubbles, it's the so chewing strange, gum. But this one looks delicious. Yeah, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Yep. Looks really good. Yum, and yum. I really like the labels too, man. Look at this the six shooters, man. Pow, pow, pow. Arizona Gun Arizona Slinger. always does things their own way. It's from Mesa. Mesa. Ooh. It's the real deal. This ain't from New York City. New wow. York City. Yeah, right here, Mesa. R.I.P. Um Travis Alexander. Who? Travis Alexander. He got slashed up by Jody Arias. Oh, wait, wait. Jody Harris, that's that was the the hot one, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and she and she accidentally took a picture. Oh. I was glued. <laughs> I was absolutely glued to Nancy Grace that whole trial, that whole trial. And then I might have even taken off of work the day that that the um that they were done deliberating because I was like <laughs> I was she like was all invested. into it. I was so you were invested. invested, huh? Yes, because I had already saw Casey Anthony get away. And so yeah. Jody Arias, I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. So whenever I see my I'm sure Arizona, dad was following that shit too. Yeah. Dad was deep into that shit back then. Yeah. You so know? whenever I see Mesa, Arizona, I think of Travis Alexander. Travis Alexander. Rest in pieces, brother. Yep. He was a good guy. All right. All right. So, anyways, uh, let's see what we got else right. Oh, we got us some Slimer. Oh, I love that. Do you salsa verde? Mir- uh, uh, mild. I was going to say mail day. Cool. Salsa Verde. It looks like uh, yep. 
a, a, a rotted bottle of Orbitz. Y'all remember the Orbitz with like the little balls of jello and like the clear drink? Right. It's just chili. It's chili peppers. It goes on tacos. Like I'm down. Like real tacos. I wonder if this one, this one says mild. Well, we are straight up stocked up for, you know, heat wise, you know, when it comes to our tacos and our chilies, which we've seen to have been doing a lot of. <laughs> Yay! I wonder what ah, this there is you like. Go. Twizzlers. I really enjoy my Cactus Twizzlers. Twizzler. Cactus Twizzlers. I wonder if they taste yummy like those little mm. square thingies a minute ago. Right. And Charlie. No, I, I can't. I can't eat a lot of gummy. I remember like back in the day, I would always bite like one end off of the Twizzler, you know, and then I would use like a straw. Yeah, blow through it. And then eat it. <laughs> I mean, I was I was a visionary. <laughs> All right, check it out. We got us some probably a uh, 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 prickly pear taffy. Wow. Some salt. Taffy straight up stock from the salt flat. They just kind of dabbed the top of it with wet towel lips and then <laughs> rinsed them out over a big old Sounds delicious. bat and made themselves some damn exotic candy. Pretty neat. Very, yeah. li very little salamander in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this out. This is quite interesting. We have ourselves some Arizona salt shakers. Salt shakers. Salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I use my salt and pepper uh, shakers a lot. I'm always cooking. And it's got like little mats. Let me show you. And I'll even hold on to this right here. Like I, I I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm a saver. I'll probably throw it all away actually. It's got like the state, and then like different little points on the state. Like really? this, I know it's blurry. Y'all can't see it, but that says the Grand Canyon, and this is like something else and something else. Um, Grand Canyon. I mean, Grand I want to go. I want to go to Arizona so bad, guys. One of our things, you know, uh, we're talking about it, you know, if we can get on here soon, you know, like get our jobs and try to last, you know, as long as we can, you know what I mean? Like try and last 20 years, Erica, <laughs> try to get you, try to get you a 401k going, you know, when we're 60, we'll go ahead and buy us a mobile camper, camper or whatever, a mobile home. We'll be on the road like uh, 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 Clark's uh, cousin, Uncle, uh, Cousin Eddie. 30 years from now, we're taking y'all with us. Snot. We'll come over to Michael's house for Thanksgiving. Really fuck the place up. <laughs> we'll get no, nah, yeah, for real. I'll see all, all jokes aside. Yeah, we'll be able to travel and stuff like that. And I really would like to go to Arizona, man. I had a boss man that worked out in Arizona. Said he he worked uh, installing Spencer's gifts. He went from from state to state, mall to mall, uh, installing the Spencer's gifts. Yeah, you figure out how to do it and shit. And yeah, you know, so like got, the Spencer stores. The Spencer stores, ah, yeah. Cool. And he said it was a really, it was a really fun job. Yeah, but mm -hmm. he had to, he had to relocate constantly. And he said that he was out in Arizona helping the installation store out there. And he said that they had jackrabbits out there as tall as you. Right. Oh my God, dude, no bullshit. Christy H, she's talking about Jody. Oh yeah, yeah. she it, it slit his throat and shot him. Damn, why would she do some shit like that? She was jealous. She uh, was psycho. All right, let's see. What we, let's see what we got. Oh, oh, I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. It's an ornament. It's some decor for the house. Some mature stuff. Oh, cool. It's a coaster or something I can put on the put beside the stove. Uh, yeah, I think this goes on the stove because you know what it is. The you know pot, how the, the, the spoon. Whenever I cook, I'll put a plate there so I can put my spoons and stuff on it. But I think that that's what this is. That is so cool. I mean, you know, I've never seen a cactus in real life. Well, I mean, you know, aside from installation. It might you know, go on the like wall. Zoos. It could possibly. It can go anywhere you want, really. Either one. It's just got, like, little legs on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. That is super I cool. I was looking to see, like, what it said that it was, but we will find a spot What do it. we have here? <laughs> Some Halloween socks, baby. These are mine. I think they're both yours, aren't they? <laughs> I'll definitely take the glitter toes. Look at that, bro. Oh, wait. Reminds me of my days in the ballet. They probably are both for me. <laughs> probably. They're they're kind of effeminate. You socks. can have these. I can have those? Yeah. <laughs> I'll share. Okay. <laughs> these are two pairs of socks, yeah? Well, like, you see, these are these could be boys. See yeah. I can, can, I, can rock, I can definitely rock them black ones with my Vans. Fuck you. Yeah. Hell, yeah. I'll take those, and then you can have the, well, whatever. Cool. We got Yay, socks. We got socks. <laughs> early Christmas, man. She's she's heading everyone off before early, man. Miss Baker, you got some competition, man. She's already. Oh, look, see, I got some. There you go. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious! Check it out, Jack Skeleton. Now she probably like these better, huh? <laughs> and these are another pair that'll just get lost 
all of our good socks, like fun socks, this just get lost. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I think I remember Halloween. that movie. Oh man, that is super cool. I have to put these on and take a. We'll have to watch it. You. you think you remember this that movie? Halloween. This um, is Halloween. Gotta watch it. Okay, and I don't remember if that was that or Coraline or what. Mm. Okay, so a long Ooh, sleeve. Wow. That's nice. Wow. That is a nice that one. That is super nice. And it nice. looks big and long, like it'll fit you. <laughs> right. Let me check it out. Oh, I just dropped a bunch of screws into my shirt, so I might be poking myself here in a minute. It's so awesome, man, because I don't like my shirts to be too big, you know, but they can't be too small neither. And this thing is Perfect. Absolutely just right. Perfect. Holy crap, and I don't mind repping Arizona. Not at all. These are my colors, too. Yep. Go, matches my gray really well. Cool. Really, really good job, Rebecca. That looks really good. <clears throat> I will definitely be wearing this a lot this uh, uh, this winter. Earthy, earthy tones. So awesome. Oh, God, I got screws everywhere. Uh-oh, got some NFL Ooh. gear. Boom. Oh. The Cardinals. Cardinals. That almost looks like a throwback kind of like uh, logo, too. Probably not. It's probably something new. Huh. Awesome. Cool. I've got myself a nice uh, a bubble vest. It's like a beige bubble vest. Right. That, uh, that'll look good. Uh, yes. Paired up with this. Yep. Hell that one yeah. especially. I think it looks like you might have got you one, too. Oh. Yeah. How about that? We're twins. Awesome. So? <laughs> yeah, man. I, you know, the sad thing is, you know, I feel for you out that you guys down there in Arizona because I'm sure that not you guys don't get to wear sweatshirts very often. This is baseball, right? <laughs> no, it's no, football. football. I just saw NFL. It is the NFL, sweetie. Baseball is the uh, Diamondbacks. They've got the Diamondbacks. I was well, we just watched the baseball movie. Yes, so. guys. We would actually watch Moneyball before we went live and. It was good. Really good movie. I liked it. Brad Pitt, obviously, is an awesome actor. <laughs> you have <laughs> Back. There you go. There you go. Brad Pitt is an awesome actor. Jonah Hill. I love Rest in Peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's a very good movie. And I was late to the show watching it. See, it's new to uh, it's new to Netflix right now. Look, at that fits perfectly. Oh, that fits absolutely perfectly, yes. guys. Holy cow. Guys, that's awesome. Represent for Arizona. Shout out to the A. To the AZ. Much love from the TV We got all teams. kinds of Arizona going on. Hell yeah, man. And like I said, I used to wear that Arizona shirt, that blue one. I wore it all over the place. It was in my regular rotation for a while. Right. And then I, I think I just kind of moved it to the back of the drawer as new shirts came in and stuff. But I also put it up somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay. Ooh, something pink. That's for me. No. Ooh. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Pink on crimson maroon. or maroon. Yeah. That is super, super awesome. That's Looking good. Oh, Rebecca, Thanks, you, got, Rebecca. you have a really nice eye. And, oh my God, what is this? This has got to be for you. What is it? Nope, that's for you. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, that's for you. Oh, that's a nightgown. It's a nightie. <laughs> Yay. She tried to get that on me. No, because I'm like, that's not a t-shirt. Look. Uh, it's a nightgown. It's a sweet knee. It's a mummy. What does oh, it say? It says, need to unwind. I need to unwind. Oh, he needs Very to unwind. Very funny. How spoofy is that? Yes. <laughs> I love this. Okay, uh, let's see here, Rebecca. Did you did you send us a card or anything? Or oh, I'm getting a good shot right here, guys. Keep that camera over here. I'm looking for a card, Miss Rebecca. I don't know if you sent us a card to help maybe uh, maybe describe a little bit this next gift that I want to share with everybody. But it's quite special, guys. Really is, and, and quite touching. And I just want to make sure to see whether she uh. Now I'm in my 90s. Oh. <laughs> I'm a lucky man. You're so sweet. You're such a precious sweetheart. 
Uh, Rebecca, I don't see her in here yet. She says, no, I forgot to put the card in it, man. That's awesome. all right. Because so cool. we know what it is, so we can talk about it a little bit. Okay. So, uh, anyways, well, hold on a second. Somebody says uh, you have more viewers than Isaac right now. So, I guess, God, this guy is really all over me, isn't he? Charlie's live. We're going to go live, too. Hey, guys, what's up? Like, oh, my dude, really get over me already. Please, Jesus. Not going to happen. God, get over me. It's not going to happen. Me and you aren't going to happen. Get over it. <sighs> All right, anyway, so top that with something very special I want to show you guys. <laughs> Here we have Gilbert the Good-Hearted Jackal by Alex Foster. Check it out. I want to tell you a little quick story first. Okay, first we'll go with Gilbert, and then we'll we'll talk about Gilbert the... Uh, um, the character and then we'll move on to the author himself so gilbert is a bigger than usual black uh black back jackal who lives in kenya africa uh even though gilbert is a jackal he does not eat meat as most jackals do gilbert is a vegetarian who likes eating fruits and vegetables instead mm -hmm. i never heard of such a thing but just because you ain't never heard of it don't mean it, it doesn't exist right all right check it out it says gilbert uses his knowledge and skills to help his animal friends he makes their lives better by helping them solve their problems as great friends should. All right. So here's a little story. Now, this is Rebecca's son. Yep. The Re author. This Rebe Rebecca's son is the actual author of this book. Um, a certified published author, guys. Check it out. Here's a little story about Alex Foster. Says, Alex Foster was born in Jasper, Texas in August of 1992. Says at six years old, Alex was diagnosed with autism, a pervasive, a pervasive deficit a disorder, uh, to be exact. There are there is different you know levels and yeah. So so on the autism spectrum scale, Alex is in the middle or moderate between mild and severe. <clears throat> Says even with his autism. Alex completed 12 years of public school and received, it, received his a certificate of completion. Awesome. <laughs> Hell yes. Said Alex has an amazing memory and can recall facts and information on almost any rare, exotic, and wild animal. Wow. And that gives me goosebumps. That is a very special gift to have right there. Says he truly enjoys mostly the animals of Africa. He has an enormous love of dogs, and when he is not writing his Gilbert books, he is spending time with his two dogs, Missy and Albert. <laughs> and here he is chilling Look out with Alex, a, his little feathered friend. And there's a picture of Alex right there with his feathered friend. We didn't get the name of that. But, uh, yeah, that is so sweet. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, just, you know, these autistic, autistic people, you know, they, they have so much to offer. You know, again, like if you can just – Listen to them and nurture and find out what that is. You know what I mean? Right. They all have special gifts. My uh, my cousin, you know, which, you know, I don't talk about much, but her daughter actually um, is a, a functioning uh, a, a member of the spectrum, I guess, as it were. I don't know how else to put it. She has autism. And um, there's Gilbert. The dates and numbers and stuff like that, you know, it is just amazing how... Um, <laughs> did he illustrate it yes too? did he illustrate these as well or wow so awesome yeah mr poseidon we're gonna have to hide you right there hopefully you enjoyed that one little jab buddy because that's all your hateful ass would get this is pretty cool yeah definitely miss rebecca let us know if she says thank you for showing his book definitely man you know we love all of you guys you know and we love hearing y'all stories, you know, um, and uh, uh, especially unique ones such as this right here, you know. Alex looks like a happy guy. Definitely. He should be happy. He's Very handsome. He, is, he has accomplished what I myself. He's a savant. Rem remembering crazy, amazing, rare, exotic details about animals and stuff. I tell you, man, like if <laughs> that's the one thing that I want almost more than anything, I'd like to be a published author. Yeah. You know, I would love to, you know get out and write my stories that I have in my head. Cause I've got a couple of really good stories in my head, not just my life story, you know what I mean? But actual stories that I've made up in my head, you know, and that I'm still making up. I've been making up for years mm -hmm. and, and adding and rewriting and stuff like that. 20 years in my head, some of these stories are, but I just haven't uh, uh, sat down and started writing as it were, you know? 
And, uh, uh, you know, here we are. <laughs> you know, our, our friend Alex. She says that he did illustrate it. That is so super <laughs> awesome. So yes. stinking awesome, man. <laughs> Yeah. Let me see that again. Let me see. Let me see that again. Let me see some of those illustrations again, because I didn't really get a good look. So there's the dingo, or should I say, jackal, Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. But look how big and happy that sun is. That is so awesome. So, oh, look, we got ourselves a message right here Aww. to Charlie and Erica Brown slash Green <laughs> <laughs> from Mr. Foster. It says, be a good-hearted person. Aww. You know what I'm saying, bro? I love like, that. Shit. Wow. Thank you so <laughs> much, Alex. You know, a very kind, sweet, uh, uh, innocent person right there. So smart. I yeah. wouldn't be able to do something like this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no hate or anger in his heart. He asked, what do you want to tell him? What, what, do you, what would you like to say to Charlie and Erica? And he says, be a good hearted person. Oh man, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> are those vultures eating the eating the carcass? <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's a little dead carcass. <laughs> oh man, that really touches me. Right <laughs> you know. <clears throat> yeah, stuff like that, you know. It's really hard not to to feel something and want to be a good person, you know, when when you're given a gift like this, you know, when you're touched, you know, you know, when you have, you know, people that you don't really know. Rebecca, you know, like she knows us way more than we know her, you know what I mean? And uh, <clears throat> just the connection that you have made with us, you know, this is real right here. This is pretty dang awesome. This is real right here. This is going to be sitting up here in the... <laughs> In the wolf hacky room. Oh, you're like the birdie in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Ah, uh, just singing away. Oh, look at that elephant. Blowing his trumpet. He's happy. Is that a dingo? Is that, is, that, is that part of the dingo family right there? Oh, all I see is a butt. One took off somewhere. He's like, he's gone. <laughs> he's out of there. Oh, is that the cheetah? It's a cheetah. The leopard. It's a leopard. Yeah, it's got spots. And then, so the elephant scared him, scared the, the leopard off. Oh, the elephant scaring the leopard we away. We gotta read it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta read the book. We're just, we're just liking the pictures. <laughs> and actually, matter of fact, you know what? Get that here, right here. I'm gonna put that right here with my favorite childhood book of all time. Thank you so much, Jesse, for that. I'm gonna be reading that soon. And that's gonna be going right here with it. Alex Foster. You are now among the amongst the greats, like Mr. Mark Brown, bro. <laughs> and that's awesome. I love who doesn't love some damn Arthur, right? Cool. So, and also Dr. Seuss, Cat in the Hat, bro. You're going, bro. You're going right up there with the greats, man. So <laughs> awesome. You know what? You deserve it, Alex. Thank you so very much. Definitely. We love you, man. We love your mom. She's always, uh, uh, you know, on my Facebook, you know, with a message of messages of positivity and support. Um, you know, and, and here, here to laugh whenever I, I do have kind of a, you know, a bad day or I'm aggravated and I'll start making jabs and stuff, you know, I start talking back, you know what I mean? There was a long time, you know, where I, I you know, I, I tried to defend myself and, and stand up to the bullies and Michael's bullshit, you know, right. and all that shit. And, and there were so many people that were just like, you know, screw you, whatever, you know, we're going with, you know, with this side, you know, Rebecca has been here all the whole time, you know? She was one of the ones that kind of stayed out of it, though. Mm -hmm. You know, she still probably fall. I don't know. I would say she still might follow Michael and stuff, but I've heard some comments before. <laughs> I've read some comments before that might suggest otherwise, you know. But honestly, you know, it's like, why would you follow those those crowds if you are such a good person? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a kind-hearted, caring person, why would you follow a crowd that's not doxing people and always right. finding trouble with somebody every day? Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, good people just don't. Involved himself with that crap. Miss Baker and is in the house. Hey, mom. Hi. Hey, my interview went great today. Fingers are crossed that I get that call back here really soon. I'm ready to get back to work and making money, man. I can't sit in this house no more. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I interrupted your thought. Um. No, I was just reading. Uh huh. And let's see the ballistic. 
Mr. Ballistic and Mr. Paul Guess asking what was the news I was going to tell you guys. Okay, yeah, after the box, you had some news, man. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You held a real box right here, guys. So I'm glad you remember that because I, I, I plum forgot. Let me get some of my child's play candy. Charlie, Charlie don't really care, but he doesn't really like the idea. But my smile is going to be changing. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, big yeah. changes are coming to her grill. My grill is going to be changing. She's going to be banking in. <laughs> she's going to be raking in the dough. Right. As it were, well, guys. It's like my back teeth. I don't know if my wisdom teeth are changing or not, but I feel like my teeth are getting more crooked because. Like, I feel like they're getting... Being that they're not in a line and over time, it just continues to push. Right. And... They're, they're like pushing. So, I'm going to go get some Invisalign. Erica's going to go get her teeth straightened out. I wasn't going to tell you guys. I was just going to do it and then take them out whenever I vlog and stuff and wait to see who was the first person that noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I'm probably going to vlog the whole process. Um, it won't, it'll, but it would just be like one long vlog at the end of like six months so that I could like document it for the company or for myself, you know, like, you know, people want to go and be like, what is Invisalign like, or the smile director, whatever I go to use, like before and after in the process and vlog that. See what, see yeah, what it's like. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. A great idea. And probably even show you guys. Okay. Week one. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. You I know, told her I was too. like, I told her I was like, I love it, you know. But then I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss your your unique smile. Yeah. She has this smile because when she's driving, I can see, you know, I'm on this side of you, so I see like a different like kind that. of profile. Yeah. I see that when she laughs and stuff, you know. I see her, you know. I love it. Ah. <laughs> you know, but whatever you want, you know what I mean. It makes you feel better. You I know? wonder if they're gonna want to pull my wisdom teeth out. She's gonna get her teeth right and she's gonna leave me. Oh, hush up. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people like to pick at me about it. Have a good night, Will the Rocker. It does not bother me at all. I'm not ashamed. I will smile at anybody. It's just sometimes whenever I see pictures and I'm like, why is there a shadow? There's always this, the tooth that sticks out. She got a shadow tooth. Yes, the tooth that sticks out. It puts, <laughs> it puts a shadow on this tooth. So sometimes it looks like I'm missing a tooth. <laughs> there you go. So. Am I pretty? And. They seem like they're getting worse, too. So I just need to go ahead and take it care of. I don't know if they're going to pull some wisdoms or what, but that's in the works. If she don't, pretty soon she's going to be looking like Lisa Simpson without the braces. You remember those, the projections of Lisa's teeth going to her head? <laughs> Lisa needs braces. Then I'll play them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting there chewing candy and stuff. We got Junior Gutierrez in the house. Junior! Hi, what Junior. is up, brother? Thank you so very much for joining us. Hopefully you're having a great night. <laughs> and uh yeah we just finished opening up a box of some goodness really my dog says shadow tooth is a great wolf pack name shadow <laughs> tooth <laughs> hey i coined that you remember where it come from first shadow <laughs> tooth people are gonna be like damn why did i say <laughs> shit like that snaggle tooth you know that, 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 that's too universal yeah everyone is snaggle tooth how many people did dad call snaggle tooth amanda gray right you know, or and you know what? I Honestly, know. I didn't even I don't even know what was wrong with that girl's tooth. I don't know who you who you're talking about. It's Friday, Friday. Oh, I don't know. I don't he remember. Called what it. What oh, she looked like. dead bitch. <laughs> I don't remember what she looked like. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, dad used to call her tooth though. Mm -hmm. Jake from Snack Snake. Uh, <laughs> Jake from Snack Farm. <laughs> Jake from State Farm says Snaggle Tooth. Snaggle Tooth. Snaggle Tooth. That's me. Jennifer K. Baby K says, hey, at least her teeth are healthy and white. That's true. You got all your teeth. They're healthy and white. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's cute. Got all her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that, pa that, that, pass that was passing criteria for Craig's mama. My mommy taught Friday. me to brush my teeth every day, and therefore I have never had a cavity. Really? You've never had a cavity. You're I, full of shit. I've never had. Ah. No? <laughs> I've never. No cavities no. in there. I've never had a toothache. That is strange. Never had a toothache. Um, Are you sure you're not like like from Unbreakable or something? Like, I'm, like I'm Bruce not Willis? sure. I might be. She might be Unbreakable. I might be. 
something to look into. At least your teeth, anyway. Like from like like all around. Mm-hmm. Like just imagine, just imagine if just your teeth were unbreakable, you could stop bullets and stuff. But you would never know because the rest of your body. That's another thing that I worry about too, though, because this tooth sticks out. Getting shot in the tooth? No. Bing! What if what? I what if I hit it one day and it breaks off? What if I was to hit my tooth? That is a that is a scary possibility. You bite onto an apple you or see, something. A ten out. years from now, you know, the older you get. Uh, hey, what's up, Sneaky Blue? It sticks out. <laughs> so what if I like hit it on accident and it breaks off? Like that would be the worst thing ever. So I gotta go. Uh, yeah, I've okay. had dreams of that kind of shit. Holy hell, have I? <laughs> How many of you guys have ever had dreams of losing teeth? <laughs> Especially the front ones. I remember like the last time that I had a dream about losing a front tooth, I literally woke up like, oh God, <laughs> holy shit. Like, I literally woke up checking my fucking face. <laughs> you know, and they say that's actually like a lack of self-confidence or some shit, but I think there's more to it than that. I think it's like, you know, the fear of it. Mud flap asked if them spicy noodles gave me the shits. No, they didn't, but it did burn the next day. Like, and I didn't have much neither. Finn Skywalker says, hey, Eric, I'm saying this uh, in a medical way. If you ever do your first mammogram, all I want to do is. <laughs> I don't know if they. All I want they, to uh, wish you good luck and also just be yourself breast exam in order to prevent. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was. I thought they were. I thought they were uh, uh, offering their services. Oh, <laughs> I do need to do that. I when is, um, whenever, when is breast? Get a mammogram, term? man. It's in November. November, and I think they do it for free. Last um last November, the job that I was at, <laughs> they had month. a bus come by. Maybe I should get one too. You should. These are some ticking time bags. Uh, Michael Scott says. Yeah. I got. I might. I, I could potentially have some ticking time bags over here. Oh, um, lump, lump. Oh, Tito. One thing though is that it doesn't. Oh, it might run in my family. I don't know. <laughs> Mint says, damn, Charlie getting laid now. Who would have thought? I know, right? Well, just because we're together doesn't mean I'm getting laid. That's <laughs> we've been together over two and a half years. The late the getting laid um as a as a special occasion again. <laughs> so what is Mrs. Xander's name? Xander D. Thank you for watching, Mrs. Xander. What is her name? Who's Mrs. Xander? Um oh shit. Tan May says he had his front teeth pulled out. How the hell did you manage to get your teeth pulled out? Mm. You know what? Some people just have bad teeth genes. Like, it's genetics. Let me tell you teeth what. Are genetic. Let me tell you what. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, because, like, I guess your family had, like, teeth issues, right? Kind of. No, my mommy, she's got perfect teeth. I thought she had braces, well, too. Well, yeah, she, we all have the same crooked teeth. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, they're all white and healthy. <laughs> but we right, all yeah, have. Yeah, I get you. We all have the same crooked teeth. So Tam May, check it out, man. I had a, uh, I was friends with uh, these two brothers that uh, uh, did freelance work for Time Warner Cable down here in South Carolina, and uh, uh, they tree freelance work slash tree service. You know what I'm saying? They were climbers. They were tree climbers, and they had all the gear and stuff. Where they were climbing uh, a tree one day, and uh, his one of the brothers had this thing where he would he would carry the length of rope in his mouth, like he'd go ahead and he'd get you know, a good eight, mm. 10 foot. And then he'd put it in his mouth and then he'd climb up to his next spot. And then he'd throw the, mm. the rope over the, the, the next branch that they were cutting down. Well, as he was climbing up, something happened and the rope yanked and pulled out of his mouth and it pulled all freaking the top four and the bottom four of his teeth straight forward. Mm. This fucker, I swear to God, dude, like he looked almost like a garfish. Like, mm. I mean, like his teeth were literally like they, they tried to do their best that they could, but they said they he fucked up the roof of his mouth and shit like that. Like his teeth literally, he, he couldn't close his, he could not close his uh. lips because the, the gums, the, the, you know, the teeth were so protruded almost like that. Mm. It was, yeah. Oh yeah. But you wouldn't make fun of him. He'd kick your fucking ass. But when we went around, he called him Gar. Oh, you know, but yeah, dude. Okay. So yeah, top and bottom tree. Ah, rip. I think I'd have fell out that tree. Mm. I think I think that if I suffered a trauma like that, how many feet up high? I might forget my. I might lose my bearings and my senses and forget where I am. Boom! Like oh shit, I'm going to get me some tea. Next thing I know, I'm sitting at the fucking house watching TV, going to get me a glass of tea. And I just walk right off the branch. <laughs> like seriously, like imagine. Yeah. Maybe not. 
I mean, it's not like a massive blow to the head, you know. It is losing. Yeah, but if you start panicking, you you could think that your jaw is falling off or right, something. And you start right. panicking, you're hurt, and you don't know to what extent. I wasn't there to see it. I just saw the aftermath years later, mm. and his teeth were still. Mm. I can't even describe. I can't even. <laughs> he kind of reminded me of Fire Marshal Bill. You know, Fire Marshal. Let me tell you something. But he had lips. <laughs> he was like Fire Marshal Bill with lips. The teeth were. It was the weirdest. <clears throat> so. Anyways, uh, 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 let's see here. Mr. Junior Gutierrez, thank you so much, brother. Says you guys changed my life because I was feeling depressed. Uh -huh. Well, bro, you know, we always try to be here to put a smile on on, uh, uh, on your face, on y'all's face. Oh, put a damn smile on your faces. And, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, and uh, and I realize just how much that is worth, you know what I mean? Um, like I say, you know, coming into the family, you know, um, after that absence, you know, and finding out being you know accepted into the, the whole youtube side of it and hearing you guys like you know tell me that dad changed your lives and stuff and i was like how how the hell did my crazy ass toxic angry fucking dad you know what i mean change y'all's lives you know and it was because it wasn't the it wasn't the crazy angry toxic side of them that y'all really adhered to y'all love that part because you know everyone's got something like that and someone like that in their family you know but it was the soft sweet side you know what i mean it was just it was the whole package Y'all fell in love with, you know what I mean? And uh, and so, yeah, I love being able to kind of carry that torch a little bit, as it were. You know what I mean? Like, like God knows that Michael isn't doing anything to raise anybody's spirits, as it were, you know. And he's still paying people to try to bring me down, as it were, you know. And um, I don't know if he can pay him, but <laughs> they're, they're all still emotionally and physically and mentally invested in uh, attacking Charlie when all of y'all see that, you know, I'm doing well, you know. And I hate the fact that some of you guys get uh, get get targeted for it, you know. Yes. Tan May and Junior. Yeah, that's you another know? thing. Just recently. Um, they our friend have, Karen. Yeah, they have been going after our... Um, Brian. Our, they went after Brian, but he also deleted Brian because Brian can kick your ass if you damn. Yeah, they've been... Go ahead, because I'll talk. I've got something to say he, after that. He loves saying, I don't. I only go after people that attack me and stuff like that, but he's recently started going after people. And Everybody. It's like if, it's gotten to the point where if you're not agreeing with what they say, then they go after you, attack you. Uh, you know, they physically attack you guys, you know. Right. Just because they can't lie, they can't twist you with lies anymore. You right. Know? And so, um, I don't know if you guys have any reason that that they might be able to start calling your jobs and mess you up with something, then you might want to put your Facebook on on, on private, private or something. Yeah. Because they'll these do people that. will definitely do that. They will definitely if they see your name, like for example, Cotty Wample. They know who Cotty Wample is, but she's got her stuff blocked. Yeah. Um, so they can't mess with her. Right. But well, Isaac, like, I want to go ahead and just, like, let you know, man, you know, like, you really want to kind of probably quit with all the attacks and the bullying. Like, nobody likes you anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's getting to the point where you're going to uh, you're going to attack the wrong person, you know, who's got family or, you know, like, you like to go after people and talk about their problems and going to jail and drug addiction and stuff. Why are you trying to piss off drug addicts and stuff? Why right. are you trying to piss off? You're going to piss off. The wrong person. Yeah. Hold on. Let me finish my thing. You're going to piss off the wrong person and uh, they're going to cause trouble for you and your family. It's already happened one time before you would get scared and call the police and send your child, your wife and children to the neighbor's house or something because you, you won't stop the damn Internet bullshit. So the man decided to come to your house, scared you into put sending your wife and kids somewhere. <laughs> One day, somebody's not going to tell you, you know, you're just going to be sitting there chilling and they're just going to roll up, you know, and you're going to be screwed, dude. And we are waiting for that because it's going to be sooner rather than later. Right. You can't just mess with people. And my you're thing is, with the wrong it person. just looks really, really petty and desperate. Well, that's another thing right now, you know, like, oh, my God, dude, he got so freaking upset about a. Uh, 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 our friend Rebecca starting a, a, a GoFundMe for a Christmas present for us, guys. Like, first thing in the morning. He was 24 hours, and he's still doing Like, he's still he's posting still shit today. Right he woke up the next morning still talking shit about Charlie because we're doing great because y'all decided to give us a heater because it's cold in our house. You know, he's still going after Charlie because I had an awesome interview today, an awesome job interview. You know what I mean? It's like... And if like I, and since he can't come at us because there's nothing to come at us for, he's going after you guys. Right. So, you know, um, <laughs> that just shows, you know, what kind of low life piece of shit this guy is. 
You know yeah. what I mean? Just to go after uh, uh, um, random straight people. random people. You know what I mean? Not even random people going after someone else's uh, uh, followers and uh, uh, supporters just because he can't sway them over with his bullshit anymore. You know what I mean? And you're definitely not winning anybody over with these fucking bully tactics that you're pulling right now. No. Nope. There was a time when you could sit back and say, I didn't do that. And people be like, yeah, I don't think he did. Now you're like, I didn't do that. And people are like, it's right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all right here. He's starting his scam already about Westview Elementary. He's trying to start a, 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 a charity drive for Westview Elementary. Guys, please uh, go to Westview Elementary. Go find, Get in touch with Westview Elementary. Find out if Isaac is actually involved with any kind of fundraisers. And then go ahead and show the principals and the vice principals and parents of Westview Elementary, exactly what Isaac does to earn his money. Like he did for the church. Just like he did for the church. Every single year he has a, 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 you know, an, an anonymous family that they donate to. Anonymous. Every year, anonymous. anonymous. <laughs> Every single year. And it's always right around the time that he's getting kicked out. What, 2014, Michael, like I said, it wasn't dad that shared that on Facebook because dad couldn't run his own Facebook back then. He had Michael and Bridget running it. Michael and Bridget were trying to scam grandpa's youngins into giving Isaac money back in 2014 because he refused to pay his bills. And it's still going on. And here on. he is, 2020. He's still refusing <laughs> to pay his bills and still blaming it on damn the, the, the homeowner. Fuckers that giving you a roof over your fucking head. It was the past five homeowners. It's all their fault. It's all their fucking. <laughs> He's a didn't do nothing. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. You know, one thing I've learned, guys, whenever that person, you know, y'all, you always see that person that always has something going on with fucking somebody. And you know what I, I mean? You know, usually that person, you know, usually they're the one that is the fucking problem. You know, when you're always constantly in wars with some damn body, whether it be online or in your real, in your personal life. Whether it's your in-laws or your neighbors. Or the cops or DSS. Your teachers at your kid's school. Oh, my God. <laughs> man. Oh, dude, your next door neighbors, your landlord. Landlord. Oh, son of a bitch. Everybody that's not a slob troll on the Internet. <laughs> Frankie's Fun Park, Isaac equals fraud equals Michael Green. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Straight up. And you all know it. 203 people here in the house. How many of y'all agree with that? Give us a thumbs up. Let's get that. Get, let's get those likes above the, the viewers here. I'm telling you guys, go ahead and blow the whistle on these on these fools. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Because he hates it, man. Like, oh, my God. Dude, like, dude, I'm still just savoring in it. You know, mm, mm, get mad, bro. Like, if, if, if you're angry at me right now for for what for how good I'm, I'm doing, you are going to be absolutely fucking furious in the next couple of months. Absolutely furious, you know. <laughs> and that doesn't say nothing bad about me. You're, you're mad at Charlie for uh, succeeding. No, uh, he's winning. He got his cell phone. <laughs> I saw something the other day. He was bragging about having some cell phone or whatever. And somebody jumped on his ass and was like, yo, what about a house, a car? The dude, Isaac would go on to call himself wealthy. <laughs> somebody sent me a screenshot where Isaac was calling himself wealthy. Everyone was jealous of Isaac because he was wealthy. Bro, you're not even rich. You don't even. You homeless. don't even understand the word. <laughs> <We're> squatter. <laughs> the homeowner literally doesn't want you in his house. He's got nowhere else to go. <clears throat> Guys, God, Cardi Waffle, someone clip Erica saying that, please, dude. It's true. You are homeless, bro. In every form and sense of the fucking word. You are not even welcome in but your no, own home. But no, he doesn't understand that, though. To him, his mind, his mind just doesn't work like that. He doesn't understand the real world. Miss <laughs> Burger, Miss Miss Baker said that burger looked good. It was so delicious. Really, oh. really good. Better than tonight's meal. She just reminded me. She said, "Did we have any luck in the backyard?" Oh snap, guys! So check it out, man. Bad news, guys. <laughs> My Roxy escaped. <laughs> She, the last time I saw her, fucking turtle got out of her cage. Yeah, the turtle got out of her cage in the backyard. 
but I check on her. She's right there, right out. We have the sliding glass door and she's right outside the sliding glass door. I check on her five, six, seven times a day. Yeah, I'm walking back always and forth. Going out there. I change her water. I talk to her and play with her all the time. So I saw her and she was, um, she's always trying to climb out and she was up on top on her of her leg. bush. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, the last time I saw her, she was up she on top. She could definitely get out off of that bush, I think. Probably. I'm, I'm assuming that's what happened because I saw her and then I just walked back. I saw her. And then whenever it got dark, I just went and closed the lid, like put the screen down. And then the next morning I came and I opened the screen up and she wasn't in there. And I've looked all under the porch. Mm. Maybe we'll find her one day. The I'm great so turtle sad. Escape. Turtle girl is gone. No longer with us anymore. Yes. So maybe we'll have to go somewhere and find you another little turtle or something. Erica really liked her turtle a lot, man. She would. She'd go out there and she'd feed him and she'd play <laughs> with him. Me, I'm like, fuck it, it's a reptile. <laughs> you know? It's a her. She was a girl. It's 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 a reptile. They don't have personalities. My mommy says, um, Google's a piece of shit. Send us another dollar forty nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank it. you so much, Thank about you. that brother. Where's it at? It's up there. There it is. For a burger. A burger. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. $1.49 would get you one of those Wendy's BLTs, or is that $1.69 now? That's a half of a hearty steak. Guys, $1. man, we stopped at McDonald's on the way in last night, and I got me a 20-piece McNuggets, and they are now $7.50. We ain't going there the again. For the chicken McNuggets now. Jesus Christ, I'm not buying them no more. I, you know, I was, I, was, I was giving McDonald's props, you know what I'm saying? They upped their game a little bit, and the nuggets are really good. I'm not paying seven dollars and fifty cents for a, a twenty pack of damn nugs. Right. I remember when they were five dollars. I remember when it was five dollars for a twenty piece uh, value meal. Hmm. So. Um, Javi says, "How are the cats doing? They're all doing good. As a matter of fact, um, Merlin, the black one that's been running around here for a couple of years, that don't let us get close to him." He gave me love. <laughs> and I, I was so happy. He loved all over me. I mean, like putting his head on me and doing the whole thing. And I know he's never been touched by anybody <laughs> because he's lived at our house <laughs> and won't let anybody touch him. I ain't got no him. love from him. That's because he, Charlie doesn't do it right. You got to, I guess you got to walk a lot slower. And also there's certain, there, there, there's a amount, there's a certain amount of trauma between that, that I have induced upon that little kitten. Yeah. Cause Charlie tried to catch him whenever he was just a little he guy. He was a little kitten and he was eating out of our garbage. How many of y'all remember that? Yep. We got it on video. We do have little it on kitten. video. I tried to grab me, jumped up. We do have on video. Yeah, so then he was gone for like a couple of months. So then like a medium cat, a couple months later, we see a medium cat and he's been here ever since then. And that's been over two years. So um, he finally let me love him. Yeah. Yes. It's a lot of a lot of patience and exposure to one another, you know, and uh, that's good. You know, Erica just Erica just has this mother goose quality about her freaking bird. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's just definitely that is real nurturing, caring, you know, quality guys. They're like, seriously, I think maybe a lot. I think I see that happen in a lot of women, you know, like. Animals and babies really love women. They, it seems like animals and babies choose women over men. I think what it is for me is I'm I'm always trying to put myself in that other person or that other thing's shoes. Right. I always like even if I'm mad and I don't understand or somebody's done something really stupid, like that just really pisses me off. Then I'll try to look right. at it from there. Just point like of just view. like she tried every now and again, she'll be like, you know, I feel bad for Isaac. And then, and then, and then he's like, no, I don't. Like he deserves it. <laughs> yeah. So even though, like, you know, like she still has pity for Isaac. Yeah. Even though we laughed and shit out his ass, you know, like I do. She'll find herself pitying him, you know. Well, because if you you just think, I uh, look at it. You just put yourself in his shoes. <laughs> his health. You know, imagine having that body and not being able to leave your house. You don't have a driver's license, a vehicle, a tag on your car. No job. Your whole life is just no fighting family. with people. You've isolated all your family. Your wife, we've already seen her nudie picture. She cheats on you. <laughs> it's just, you're so unhappy. And I'm yeah. like, God, that's just sad, dude. But then That's sad. And then, and then, and I, can then you remember. I can listen to him talk for, for 10 seconds. And I'm like, he deserves okay, it. Okay, that's right. Yeah, he deserves it. If there's it. <laughs> anybody on this earth that deserves his life, it's him. It's him. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, I always put myself like, uh, like, you know, even if it's a kitty. 
Well, that's like my mommy whenever I was like, Turtle Girl escaped. And I was like, I feel so bad because she was always trying to escape. And my mom she was, like, she was always up on her hind legs with her arms. <laughs> my mom says that she's like a two year old, you know, like I know what's best for her. So I do what's best for her. And she's like a two year old that just doesn't know no. better. Because I was like, why doesn't she just enjoy her little oasis of water that has her food in it and then her little palm tree and her little show house? Big Win Hunter <laughs> says 20 piece McNuggets in Canada is $15. What? $14. I'll make my own nuggets. Thank you very Good much. Good lordy. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't understand Sad why day. Roxy didn't enjoy her pen. And she was always trying to escape. And I had it so good for her. But I bet she's missing it but now. But you know, that's just the freedom, though. Like, the, the, this is the call of the <laughs> right. wild, bro. Like, you know, like, like I said, people would ask me, you know, how come you you just did, you just weren't happy when you were in Michael's in Michael's pool house? Right. You, know, you, you, had, uh, you had it all, you know? And I'm like, I just want freedom. <laughs> I want my own thing. I want to live my own life, you know? Right. Me and Erica were talking about that today, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I want my own truck. I want my own shit. All that's coming. We got our own house and get our own house and stuff, you know? Like, you know, yeah. You know, mm. like, it's just something about it when it's yours. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care if I am a, a lower, lower, I'm part of the low class, if you want to call it that right now, you know? I'm still doing my own thing, you know, happy with what I have, you know. Yep. And a lot of you guys understand that and appeal to that because, you know, that's that's where you found grandpa. That's where you found our family, you know, in the gutter with nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you guys love this for you. are like, yeah, you know, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I can relate to that. You know what I mean? And that was a big thing. That That's a big thing for me right there, you know, just. All you out there that can relate to the struggle and doing without, you know what I mean, and and not and not being the the nicest dressed family on the block, you know, not not being the the most popular cousin, you know, or uncle as it were, you know what I mean. And Miss Baker hasn't asked us what we want for Christmas yet. We want a Chevy Colorado. <laughs> Tell Joby. <laughs> I'm, I think I want a Chevy Colorado. I think, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna get. I don't want, I don't want a big truck. I don't want a small truck. I want something just right. So I think, I think uh, I'm gonna start saving up. Hopefully, I get this job. Like I said, I don't want to sit there and count my chickens before they hats because I'll be so, so let down. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I had a really good interview today uh, that can really open the doors for a lot of things for me. You know what I mean? And I'm already kind of planning the money a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would like to have a, a, a Colorado. It's a nice midsize. Miss Baker says, done. Yay! No, she did it. She says, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, Miss She's like, oh, my God, really? <laughs> you working on getting us nothing. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. I still got my <laughs> shoes, Miss Baker. I still got my bowling shoes. <laughs> I intend on wearing up there uh, for Thanksgiving and stuff and messing around with, uh, what's what's your brother's name again? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep that gag going <laughs> i have fun with robert uh, though definitely yeah so uh don Vito says chevy for life yeah man like i really want to get me a chevy want to get that bow tie and uh yeah you know i gotta be honest you know i was a ford guy until i owned a mustang it don't matter to me i got insurance and they're gonna fix it my very first car was a chevy I had a Chevy Cavalier two door, 1990. Right. I ended up locking the engine in that motherfucker because I wouldn't put oil in it. My thing is, me and Charlie's just been talking about trucks. So whenever we drive around, we're then looking we're looking and at stuff, trucks. Yeah. And um, that's the one that we like. That's the one that I was like, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, we're seriously, it's going to be about six, eight months down the road, but yeah, which is really right. not that far away. Right. You know, within the next year, I hope to have me a damn truck. Guys. Yeah. The car, Dusty's going to be paid off. You know, and don't you know the haters will hate that shit? Like you guys, like they thought, like you thought that 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 they blew a gasket over us getting a freaking heater. Good lord! Like man, just imagine just, we're actually riding around in nice vehicles and stuff like that. Like, and I, you know, it really, I don't get it, dude. Like, really, you spend way too much time and effort hating other people, bro. If you spend, that's what it is. If you spend as much time and effort at hating other people, if you if you spend as much time and effort and on, on yourself as you did on others. Bro, you wouldn't have nothing to be complaining about. You wouldn't wake up mad every morning. Yeah. And I say that with, you know, straight up to you. I'm not laughing or joking at all, bro. Like every time, like you wake up mad as fuck at somebody and it's usually me. 
when I'm excelling, bro. And that says nothing about me and it's everything about you. Anybody that's excelling, anybody that does anything good. Kristen Baskins, show. thank you so much. Says, uh, hey, Charlie and Erica, love y'all. I'm proud of how far y'all have come, especially you, Charlie. Keep it up. Me too. Thank you so much. I'm pretty proud of myself too. You know, I'll give myself a little pat on the back, but I'll stay ever mindful and humble uh, to the fact, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, all it is is one mistake away, you know. It's all on me. It's all on me. I have enough confidence in my damn self. Uh, I've been reading uh, one of these books that Miss Ginger sent me on identity, you know, and it's uh, uh, trying to teach you the value in yourself. You know, any of you out there have been told that you're worthless, that you're not good enough, you know, that you're a piece of shit. You know, you get told that enough. It's you, Sometimes you tend to believe it, especially from people really close to you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, this book I'm reading, you know, on finding identity, it's also finding the value and worth in yourself. You know what I mean? If God were to make it, you make you in his image, you know what I'm saying? He has made you in the image. They said when God made you that he stood back in wonder and awe and fear. Hmm. They said when God created man that he stood back in awe and fear. It's like what we're doing with the robots Of right what now. he created. He's like, you know, like I am so powerful. I'm such a powerful being. You know what I mean? For me to create something so close in my image, even not to give him the powers, but to still have that image of something that is so great and powerful, you know, it's quite meaningful. You know what I mean? And you, every single one of us, we all have that value and that meaning and that purpose inside of us. You know what I'm saying? And it teaches you, you know, to be aware of that fact, you know, to, in order to grab onto the reins of opportunity when they come to you. Because when those reins of opportunity are put in your hands, it's fast. It's not usually a preordained set thing. You know, here's the next president. You know, these opportunities come at you fastly and you've got to be ready. You know what I mean? And you're not going to be ready if you don't find any worth in yourself. And so that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I'm right at page 50. I've really been soaking it up, Ginger, if you're reading or if you're listening. And, uh, and <laughs> you know, I definitely am doing everything I can to try to make myself a better person. You know, I have no problem getting dirty and talking a little shit and pointing out and laughing and shit. I feel I deserve that. You know, that's a right that I have earned and that I continue to earn every single day. I mean, they keep giving you that right. They keep giving me that right, you know. Uh, you know, but I, I don't stay stuck in that. Right. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't stay stuck in that bullshit. And I'm trying we to elevate. do not elevate. want that life. Do not want that life. Because like you say, what you feed grows. You know what I mean? So just like I say, you know, I wake up in the morning. I'm all happy and excited. For my job interview and stuff, Isaac's waking up in the morning pissed off at Charlie for having a heater. You know what I mean? And so what has that done to your day? <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, what has that done to your Good day? Lord. Quite honestly, you know, I've had Poor a great, kids. wonderful, fantastic day Poor kids. full of hope and happiness and love and gifts for all of you. You know, and Isaac's over there pissed off that I've got a freaking sweater. He's probably mad I got a sweater now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You're not even from Arizona. <laughs> let's find Rebecca and let's dox her. Oh, that's next. Be careful, Rebecca, Rebecca. please go ahead and try to put your stuff on private. Oh, that's too late. If they've already. They, who knows? Maybe not. Go ahead and do it anyway because these people, these vultures are monsters. And they will do anything they can to destroy your life. Right. Like if, if it's on your Facebook where you work at, they're going to start calling your work. There is just how it's just how what he does. It's how he spends his days. It's sad, man. Absolutely, you know. I mean, then I got to worry. It's almost like I'm Batman, or it's like I'm Spider Man. You know what I mean? Like Spider Man had to worry about everyone he loved around him. You know, because the Green Goblin. So we'll, we'll call Isaac the Green Goblin. No, he wants to be a Green so bad. <laughs> oh my that god! Is one thing that he oh does. snap! That was another thing. He sat around because dad's birthday is tomorrow. We're going to have a live stream for dad tomorrow. Maybe trying to bake a cake or something. And like Isaac has posted videos all day just trying to convince himself and everyone else that he is a green. Oh, my dude. It was absolutely the cringiest shit. Oh, my God. He doesn't see it. That's what's so funny. He's very That's self. So, he has no self-awareness on this. It's like it's so cringy, but it's great at oh. the same time. It's It's... Like, that's why I feel sorry for him. But then I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> like, yeah. God. Like, Don Vito says AGP didn't even like Isaac. If you can look at the video yeah. when Isaac came in the house to see Dad, Dad was all slumped over. <laughs> he had his head down. He was like, oh, hey. You can see Dad having to go through the motions. Right. 
You know what I mean? Oh God, this shit. Yeah, he, yeah. What is he? Just another fan troll to come around and, and force it. himself into the house to say hey to Grandpa. You know, there yeah. was no damn Grandpa bringing him over, inviting him. That was Michael <laughs> once again. That was Michael's Dylan move. If you guys remember, Isaac is Michael's Dylan now. Michael brought Dylan over for Thanksgiving, and Dylan fucked him. You think Dad wanted another fucking pay troll coming up in his house? Right. But Dad had no choice. You guys are, like I said, you saw him. He was oh, all slumped. And Isaac's trying to convince himself and everyone else that Dad liked him, perhaps even loved him as a son. Dude, oh, my God. Dude, like, I'm sitting there, like, watching through, like, through, like, pe like pressed fingers. Like, oh, my. Like, it was like, I don't want to see, but I've got to. Oh, my God. Like, it was so cringy, I can't even laugh until afterwards, you know? I've got to let it kind of calm and abate, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you've got serious daddy issues, you Bad. know what I'm saying? Serious, serious daddy issues. And I was thinking, it's like... Serious Charlie issues. Serious Charlie serious issues. Michael. Serious green issues. Green envy. He is green with envy. He is the green envy. <laughs> Phil, thank you so much, brother. Says, in life, there's some people who can't be helped, and I think that he's one of them. Well, I mean, you heard it from his own mother. Isn't that what his mom his says? own mother has called him the devil and retarded. <laughs> she says he was mentally handicapped. She went and got checks I'm sorry, for him. I shouldn't laugh at that. She went and got checks for him whenever he was little. And he lost his virginity with his best friend, some some kid. His mom was kind of wick, uh, wacky herself. You know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. And his mom's kind of wacky herself. And I'm sure his mom taught him all the schemes he knows now. You know, I'm sure that his mom schemed the system all his life. He didn't have a father. His father ran off on him or whatever happened. Hmm. You know, he says his father died. You know, we don't, you don't never know the truth with him, you know. But yeah, I do know that they, he's definitely lived a life of ne neglect and, and, and doing without, you know. Like you can, the way to see him trying to in, uh, insert himself into people's families and every drama that he can. He definitely did not have a role model teaching him how to be a productive member that, of society. That's and for to true. Ha get a job. He, he wants to. He wants to give all the love to his grandma. His grandma did not raise a saint. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's <laughs> grandma, you did a bad job. If yeah. he's giving you the credit, <laughs> Dan Rob Smith, thank you so much. Says thank life you, is like a coin; you can spend it however you wish, but you can only spend it once. Look in Bible, John three sixteen. That will bless you both. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I've got you, a Bible Dan. around here. I'll definitely Dan look it up. Dan Rob Smith. We got like three of them right there. Mr. Rusberger says, Mr. Charlie, not sure why Isaac wants to be AGP's son. That's ridiculous. You are the legit legacy. Rusberger. Thank you so much, brother. I am Charles Marvin Green the I fourth. Haven't, I haven't said hi in a few I'm days. I'm third. Hi, Mr. Charlie Green. the third, firstborn. I've known Grandpa longer than anybody in the family except the mom. Right. You know, like literally, I've known angry Grandpa longer than anybody in the family, bro. It's just and uh, it really, oh, dude, like it's 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 cringy. like it's very cringy. It's kind of sad, but you know, it's like a, it's like he deserves it. You know, it's almost scary in a way. Like, <laughs> you how know far what? is he gonna go with this? You are exactly. You are absolutely right. Like, how far would the guy go? Like, not with us. I'm not worried about it. Like. Michael needs to be worried. Like about our it. nephews need to worry. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like how many times we've already seen Isaac get on JC's page and say, delete that shit trying to fucking right. be a uh, whatever. No, but what's he going to do if Michael ever decides like he just don't want to answer the phone for him anymore? Right. Well, me and Erica was talking the other day and Erica's Erica, you remember you, she straight up said, you know, when is Isaac going to realize that he'd probably get more views and more attention off of turning on Michael now at this point. You know, he can't, you know, he's not getting so far. Michael's losing more and more every day. Even if it's just a little bit, it's still more and more every day. That 40,000 that he gained from doing what he did to you, he could gain that again with doing it to Michael. Doing it to Michael. Walk away with 80,000. When's he going to realize that? You know? But his obsession, though. Weenus! What's up, brother? It is definitely, yeah, it is super, super weird. And, uh... Like, and a, like I, he's already drove 2,000 miles once to get in my face and follow me to my hotel room. I bet. <laughs> I don't know this for a fact, but I bet before Michael, he had some crazy strange obsession with somebody else. Who was it? Before it was mm. Michael, I bet you, it's probably some of y'all might know. 
but yeah, I like, would definitely see that. Like obsession. that kind of obsession didn't just start with Michael. No, and latching yourself onto people like that. I think that, like so I said, I think that's happened ever since he was little. He's always tried to latch on because he doesn't have his own family. He never had a family growing up. Right. So he always fantasized and, made, and latched on to other people's families. And he used his aggressive attitude to do it. Right. And probably tried to push other people out of the way to be, to be that son. And then, you know. Wasn't he obsessed <laughs> with this one family and then the little boy committed suicide or something? I don't know. But yeah, this isn't a new thing. This Michael thing, this is, this is like something psychological. It's weird and kind of scary and damn right cringy. Ugh. Rick Rude versus Val Venus. Fucking Rick Rude all day long, bro. <laughs> no, you didn't just ask me that. Yeah, Val Venus is in the category with like Mr. Ass. You know, and then I might even give it to Billy Gunn over Val Venus. You know, how dare you, Rick Rude. Rick freaking Rude was the man, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Isaac, what's up? Says Charlie, if you would uh, have. Had lunch that day, Isaac would have came through that door. <laughs> what you got? What you got for me, the like boy? Debo, come in like Debo. <laughs> really, my dog. Thank you so much. Says <laughs> ego and pride will lead to your demise. Really, my dog. Totally true. You know, you and see you, you it see right it. now. It's exactly what's happening to Michael <laughs> and Isaac right now. You know, um, and uh, you know, I really don't mind it. Like, quite honestly, like I say, guys, like. At this point, there is no saving anything with me and Michael. You know what I'm saying? I would have a donation last night, you know, from a friend who remained anonymous because she doesn't want to have her stuff doxxed out. She knows exactly who Michael is, and she knows exactly who Isaac is now. And she used to be such wonderful fans of the family and grandpa. And she knows you how know, they are. And she learned how they are. You know what I mean? And uh, 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 she's always felt for me. You know what I mean? After, like, a couple years now, she's, she's just been like Charlie, you know. You know, yeah, I love you, you know, and uh, she would donate $100 last night with, and give me a long message privately that pretty much said, you know, forgiveness is one thing, you know, for yourself and stuff, but don't ever trust Michael again. Don't ever mm -hmm. trust Michael again, you know, and these and, th and this is coming from, you know, straight up mature people, people that have been through it all that know how life works and how people are, you know, and what it takes to, 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 to live, to love, to lose, to move on, you know, and, um, they're all telling me, you know what I'm saying? You know, never, ever, you know, trust your brother ever again. Well, you can see, see what he can do. Yeah. I've seen firsthand. You've all seen what he can do. You've all seen what he's put me through for the last three right. years. And then whenever you think that he can't do anything worse and it can't, he can't go any lower, he turns around and does it to Doug. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> and then Turns just, right around and hits Doug up with the same worse. shit, you yeah. know. Sharing Doug's um, mother's uh, death pictures on Twitter and shit. And, yeah. You know, so. And Isaac, you know, you think he can't get any lower. Here he is uh, uh, scamming people out of money in the name of an elementary school. Guys, Westview Elementary School, I swear to God, get in touch with them and let them know exactly who Isaac Guest is. Show them all the footage, you know, him talking shit and running his fucking mouth all over YouTube. Him and him talking about his wife calling the kids stupid mm. until they're in tears and shit. Get send it all to him. You could do that, or you could just wait and report it for fraud whenever the school don't get shit and he keeps all of your money that you're donating. Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Like, do you think that he would really like just do it and then not even put it in, you know, just, just say it's for that school? Yes. <sighs> yes. Absolutely. Well, anyway, you know, blow the whistle on it anyway and call him and be like, hey. He What's up with this? I wouldn't, even, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even let him collect any money off of it. I'd go ahead and get in touch with the school as soon as I the, could. The church didn't even know that he was collecting money off of the live stream. He's in the church. He's, gonna... in, he's in the church with his cell phone. <laughs> making money, down. Posting it, making money off the live stream from the church. Down here. <laughs> and he was only going to church because uh, the court ordered made him. Right. Whenever the kids got caught out in the middle of the road and they got arrested for it. You, know, class. you heard the fucking the the uh, the news reporter say right there at the end, they will be taking parenting class. He's like, it didn't happen. Here you go, guys. Just listen to the news report. Oh, they say it's gonna happen. A year later, they came and got the kid. They sure did. Comply, Gosh. comply. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. We're just jealous. All of y'all are jealous too. You know it. Brandy Renee, what's up? Says they told you the truth. He knew he ruined your life once. Never give him another chance to get that close to you. 
I know that is right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Connor Winmay says he shouldn't trust you. You know what? Michael should better not trust me. Nope. Don't trust me, you know, because, yeah. Because we got nothing for you. I got nothing for your ass, bro. <laughs> and there will be nothing for me to hold my phone in my pocket and record you saying some shit and sharing it with everybody. Yeah, don't even come near me, Michael. <laughs> yeah, Michael should not trust me. And you know what? Me and Charlie, we were talking today, and I was like, remember that time whenever I told Michael – to just tell Isaac to just chill out, you know, because he's messaging us talking about we need to chill out with the drama. So I'm like, no, Michael, you need to chill out. You and your freaking puppet boy, y'all need to chill out. And I told Charlie, what if he came to you, you know, okay, I'll tell Isaac to chill out now. We don't need him to tell Isaac to chill out now. We don't now. care no more. <laughs> you all know that they're full of shit. We did it ourselves. You know what I mean? Every time Isaac runs his mouth about Charlie, like he's, he's looked sour as fuck. He's running his <laughs> mouth about me for the last 48 hours straight. Or and what? He looked, what did you do? And he looked sour as a bitch. Every time Michael Michael tried to call me out, do some videos on me here recently, what had happened? Charlie's, everybody's like, shut up, Michael. You're using Charlie for clout now. But what More did you do? Bait. What is this newfound obsession? I'm not going to say newfound obsession. This returning it's obsession. It's another returning. Reawakened. Reawakened These reawakened obsession. emotions. What did you do to poor Isaac that you hurt his feelings so freaking bad? I'm succeeding. I'm doing well. You know, the, the greatest revenge is a life well lived. Is it really because Rebecca said, hey, guys, let's get a heater? Is that really why he's been going off for two days? Like, what did you do? It's got to be. He... Have y'all seen us do anything? What is what is he going <laughs> off about? Because Charlie raped his sisters. Oh, okay. They're still going off on the whole Charlie raped Charlie's his sisters thing. Too. Bill, thank you so much. Says, shake my head. So it's basically a grown man stealing money from kids. How do you go to bed at the end of the day? He's his career. He, he, he wears a sleep apnea mask, probably. Yeah, that too. <laughs> sleep apnea. For but sure. yeah, you know, so here's another thing. Like, I love it whenever they come and want to say that I rape my sisters and stuff. I'll go ahead and come right out here and say again, I did not rape my sisters. Uh, yeah, they are running their fucking mouths to try to get Charlie fucked up. I couldn't imagine being Kimberly. How does it feel right now, Kimberly and How's Jennifer? How does that feel, Kim? How's it feel right now? You've got Isaac still running along with those fucking lies. Michael would end up removing the videos or hiding them. If I was so her, embarrassed by I would the be fucking embarrassed. shit, I'd be like, gosh, stop talking about that. Why are you so obsessed with my family and my fucking issues with me? Leave us alone. I'm going to keep bringing it up. I'll go ahead and point it out. Yeah. Yeah. Here to go again. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about let's why talk about Michael it. had Kimberly and, and Jennifer lie. Why do y'all think that Michael had Kimberly and Jennifer lie about uh, 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 and say that I raped them? Why do y'all think that Michael had that? Why do you think Jennifer said it? Why do y'all think Kimberly said it? Did it have something to do with him working with Tina and you being like, screw y'all, I'm not working with Tina? And then you get. No, this don't have nothing about that. This has something to do about their livelihoods being controlled by Michael. Yeah, that. And because you got drunk and you went on live stream and made some threats toward Michael. So then the next day it comes out that you raped your sisters. Right. The very next day. And if y'all remember the day before, didn't Jennifer do a video talking about who her favorite brother was? Right. (laughs) <laughs> Jennifer would have me at her house watching her boys twice. Mm-hmm. Not once, but twice. How are you going to have somebody watch your kids if you damn molested them? Mm. See, Paul Guest says, it's all fucked. You're right. It's all fucked. It's all fucked because of Michael, Michael, Kimberly, and Jennifer. They didn't have to come out there and damn talk all those fucking lies and try to pile as much shit on me as they could. Now they look like shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, and I'll be right here to point it out, bro. While I'm doing well in my life, while I continue uh, to thrive, you know what I mean. And I say that with all, you know, humility as possible. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, the pride comes definitely before the fall. You know, so I definitely stay focused on my life and what I need to do to stay to create more positives. Uh, while, uh. You know, saying ha ha, <laughs> you know, while they continue to just do what they do. Just be mad and keep banging on that keyboard, Tubby, because that's all you can doing do. Doing nothing, no jobs, going nowhere, constantly I being sued him, by people. I tried to tell him, I gave him some advice. I said, dude, go for a walk. And he's like, oh, you got fat jokes. And I'm like, no, dude, it's not a joke. Go outside. It's nice. Go for a walk. Get away from the computer. <laughs> Jeez. 
Do stop, something with your kids. Stop worrying about Charlie. Get your head out of Charlie's ass and go for a walk. Go it's do not something a with joke. your kids. Yes, take the kids to the park. Don't sling your little girl around on the swing again because that was horrible. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> like, like, like she, that, was she, on a, she, that was on a visitation, too. The, oh the fucking foster God. parents are probably like, what, what the, in the fuck? No wonder why. Oh, yes. Good Lord. And they recorded it and laughed at it like it was hilarious. Idiot. Not like the little kid had many brains to jostle around in the you first know, place. He I'm also sure. he also Being records guest, he but... also records his new cell phone and thinks it's a big thing. Like yeah. grow up. He sounds dude. like a fourteen year old. Ex- well, a little fourteen year old. Like, look at my new phone. Haters are gonna be jealous. <laughs> Hater jealous. Hey. He's like he's sitting like he was sitting out there in his inflatable bathtub on the front porch of that falling apart shack. He's not paying rent on while he's on his nice phone. What be- up? Skin <laughs> skin tags floating around in the water. It reminds me of those girls that when they get their nails done, then they're like, uh, "Yeah, what's this?" <laughs> Well, it's like ghetto. It's like ghetto. So fucking ghetto. He's got no job. He's not paying his rent <laughs> or anything, but he's got a fucking phone. You know, it's like, oh um, God, love it. I love it. You all see it. He <laughs> said that the foster parents had to cut the visit short. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you can't be throwing your kid around on the swing like that. Time to go, kids. Load up. Cotty Waffle, some frivolous spending is not smart. Like, like, yeah, not not so. It shows your priorities. You know what I'm saying? Quite honestly, it shows your fucking priorities. But we also know that he's not spending. Guys, we all know that he uh, he buys these defective phones at cheap prices, and then he turns around and resells them. That's why you see, like, every few months he's got something new. You know what I mean? Uh, um, uh, 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 a it's new got like device. A little, a little factory chip, like down in the side of it. it's gonna have like a little factory chip, so they sell it at discount price, and then he'll sell that shit for full price. Yeah. Make them a hundred dollars, but in the meantime, I got a new phone, guys. Yeah. You won't see. You <laughs> won't see that phone in a couple of weeks from now. It'll be gone. Yep. And uh, and yeah, and he'll have spent that on DoorDash or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, on to the next scam, you know what I mean, as it were, you know. And, more power uh, to you, buddy. Keep actually, it up. actually, not more power to you, because the because because you know uh, the more he does it, the less power he has. Exactly. That's you know what I, I mean. Like on. by now, everybody's like, again, this. Come on, Isaac. Again, really? Again? He's been in the he's been in the, he's been in the in the, uh, uh, the limelight now for about three years now. People have been watching and seeing his moves and shit, you know, and uh, they've all got a good understanding of who he is now. Yeah. You know what I mean? This freedom fighter that Michael portrayed him to be, you know, has just turned out to be, you know, a hired thug. A little bitch. A hired PC thug, you know, that does whatever Michael tells him to do, (laughs) you know? It is what it is. And, um, yeah, it is what it is, really. Like I say, that's why he's still got 40,000 subscribers after three years, you know. After six months, I had almost 150,000, you know. <laughs> you know, and then I would I would start a brand new channel and pass him in like, what, two months? And, <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, quite honestly, it's all telling. It all comes out in the wash, you know what I'm saying? And um, you all know it for what it was, you know what I'm saying? Bunch of bullshit and uh uh, a smear campaign that you know Michael uh, uh, tried to uh, uh, um, create on me. You know he didn't try; he did. I went through a lot of shit for a while, <laughs> you know, and um, and yeah, you know I feel like I, you know, I feel like I deserve where I'm at now. I really do, you know. Like I say, you know, I try not to say deserve, you know what I mean. But I normally that normally applies to like things and stuff, you know what I mean, like. As far as my fight went, you know what I mean, and my struggle, I don't discount that at all, and I actually stand behind it. I wear I wear my struggle like a badge of honor. You should. You know what I'm saying? I have straight walked through the fucking fire, Michael and Isaac, and I have, come out, I have come out the other side a better man. So in a way, I want to thank both of you because your negativity has done nothing but motivated me. And that's another thing that I was thinking about, too, because... Um, we were both working and then all this COVID stuff happened and COVID just like messed everything up. And so we've been collecting unemployment and then we ended up, um, I got a job where I'm making twice as much and you're going to hopefully get the job where you're making twice as much. And he's just sitting over there in his basement going, Charlie's unemployed. (laughs) Charlie don't have a job. 
<laughs> I'm like, you got to know what a job is first before you can talk about one. Nick, uh, Nico, I guess. Thank you so much. Wolfpack unit, but something buy something tasty. Oh yeah, that's five dollars. That'll get me a. Thank you, Nicola. Uh, that'll give me a, 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 a half a gallon of some frozen chocolate, uh, hot chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream that I really, mm -hmm. really like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, but uh, anyways, guys, I think we might go ahead and end it here. In a few minutes, you know. Um, um, Christian Shadrick. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. He says he was removed as a mod. Yes, we had to rearrange some stuff around. Yeah, so okay. some... we had to let some people go and stuff, you know. Like, people were still being hidden and stuff like that, you know. So and we still love you, though. We're, we're our, our, our circle. <laughs> yeah, we just got to yeah. tighten it up. Got to tighten. Gotta... Can't ask you to lose weight, but <laughs> tighten it. Titan, remember knocked up uh yeah so um but yeah you know like we have so much to be positive and thankful about you know what i mean that uh guys i am very hopeful for my future man first time in a long time that uh i've had this kind of hope you know and and, and ambition you know what i mean and uh, uh uh just been having fun man like everything just just seems to be falling in place wouldn't it be so awesome if, uh, you know, on, on dad's birthday tomorrow, I got a call uh, 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 from where I went and got my, you know, from where I took my uh, interview at today. What if I got a call tomorrow on dad's birthday? That'd be pretty awesome. Saying, hey, you got the job, man. Go take your piss test. Mr. Finn Skywalker, I'm definitely on it. And my mommy's in here, too. And she's pretty big on me about my health. So Check out for me, too. She'll definitely remind me. So, um yeah, you know, like, uh, man, yeah, you know, and so if the haters are mad at me right now for doing well, then guys, awesome. they are going to be absolutely furious. I've really saying. enjoyed um, Tubby's stuff that he's here. Oh, my on. God, it's been so, I've been so happy. Like, oh, he, he is, he is saturated with Charlie hate right now, right? And we love and it. And green envy, dude. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, and you, no, those are Isaac's tears. Uh, uh, let me taste your tears, Isaac. Uh, so, mm, it's so, mm, it's so yummy. Ew. <laughs> yeah. I bet it tastes like bacon. <laughs> I bet it's, I bet it tastes like swine. <laughs> I saw somebody calling him the salty ham. <laughs> oh shit! Somebody said something about how he. He was salty or some shit, and then somebody called him a ham. Or <laughs> I don't know, so stupid guys. I just know that uh, Ace Hilarious. Review says the salty ham. Did you do that, Ace? Was that you on there? <laughs> oh God, I don't, I don't, I don't respond. I don't, I don't, I don't get involved, but I do read sometimes because I like watching people talk shit to to we him. Just and, like watching him be mad to him and like that. Yeah, so it's, angry it's, it's, every and it's so day. easy to get him. Yes. Apparently here lately, I ain't even had to try. No. But I ain't even had to try to piss him off here lately. I'm just. But if it's not you, then it's he's it's, going off on Bowser. It's MFW. He's just an angry, mad troll. Yeah. And like I said, somebody sent me a message the other day, man. You would send, you would post a picture of uh, uh, Brian, homie out there in Maine, bro. And, uh, and then somebody said that you would post it and that you would delete that post. And I think that's really in your best benefit, dude, because... Uh, like I say, you're gonna mess around with the wrong one, and it's gonna sneak up, and you know, and you know, you know, and 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 there's nothing, you know, and it's gonna be your own fault, man. Like, like getting in, getting in all these beefs with all these people, you know. Next thing you know, like look at Boogie, you know, Boogie's about to go to jail for firing off a, a you know, discharging a firearm in in in, in his neighborhood over bullshit ass uh, internet beef, you know. You're going to piss off the wrong person and then, you know, they're going to come looking for you, you know. And uh, and you need to be aware of that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to piss off the wrong woman. You're going after all these these women. You know, they've got sons. They've got uncles. They've got brothers. Bro, I'm telling you, man, your your luck is going to run out. And I'm just and I and that's just, you know. <laughs> you don't need you don't need a psychic to tell you that shit. It's gonna run out anyways. It doesn't it, whether it's somebody off the internet that gets him or it's his own health or. Something. Oh, his own health is definitely gonna get him. Yeah. He ain't gonna live to see fifty. That guy is not gonna live to see fifty. It's not even close. How old is he? Thirty five. I don't know. You don't know, know what I'm saying? And like he is. How much does he weigh? Six hundred pounds. Six hundred and fifty pounds. Hmm. 
I swear to God, there is no way that he can lay on his back and, and go to sleep without his damn not without his nasal cavities clogging up. And that's what gets me. Like I imagine somebody laying there on their back, thirty like, struggling to breathe, and I'm like, oh, that's sad. Haha, <laughs> A says. Just uh, just looked at it. He got he got triggered over me making a GoFundMe for my son's headstone. See, that's just you know. Oh my God, dude! Everybody, check out Ace Man's uh, GoFundMe for his son's headstone, man. Um, Erica would say something about that earlier. He had a son that passed away back in two thousand and four. Little baby Camden. Oh man, I believe that's his name. And the headstone isn't cheap, man. It's like three grand, bro. Paul, thank you so much. Showing some love for y'all to rub in Isaac's face. Ha <laughs> ha, trigger chat right there. Thank you so much. We always appreciate the trigger chats. He can't stand anything that we get from anybody. Mm. There you go. Check it out right there. There's Ace Man's uh, GoFundMe right there. How cold and heartless do you have to be? Chaden. C-H-A-D-O-N. Little baby Chaden. He passed away from SIDS in his crib. And it's been a couple of years. But you guys know how it is. Those things are expensive. Yeah. Definitely. People like people would work and, 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 you know, like my grandma, we all my dad worked and stuff. We couldn't afford grandma a headstone. If you see, she's got that little small thing, like a couple hundred bucks or I don't even know how many. It probably was more than that, quite yeah, honestly. Really I didn't realize, you know, but um, but yeah, you know, like people, you know, people have bills that they got to pay, you know, stuff that they got to take care of regular day. You know, they can't you know, it's so sad that some just can't afford a headstone for a loved one, especially, you know, their infant child, you know, who didn't have a chance on this earth. You know what I mean? Right. And it's, you know, sad because I've never scammed anyone to scam someone. You have to get money and then not spend it. Well, you know, don't worry about what, what Isaac says. You know what I'm saying? We all know that he is a rotten soul. He is a dark hearted person. He's angry and mad <clears throat> and just trying to bring everybody down to his level. Yeah, that's that's all it is, man. And uh, all of you guys don't are above take the that bait. Level. Every single one of you are above that level. You know what I mean? And it just shows just how low one person can actually be. To begrudge a man, you know, for wanting a headstone for his child. Right. But then again, we would all see Isaac make fun of that woman's baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a woman that had a, 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 and she was actually part of his group for a minute, wasn't she? And then yeah. they turned on her and she would have a baby that would that would drown in the pool. And Isaac would laugh his ass off about that. I think he was like doing a skit or something, like acting like a baby drowning in a pool or something. I don't well, know. Well, he acts like a baby every day yeah. of his life. Throwing baby dolls he in He is just water one big and, baby. Yeah. You know, um, there's the other girl whose baby was born with club feet, and that was oh like, yeah topic of conversation. Like making he's just fun a, of the child's club feet, scum of the earth. Mm. So, yeah, you know they're trying to get nude pictures from from Tina's uh, uh underage son. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and this is so, just in the past recently. <laughs> That's just off the top of my head. Miss Baker says sometimes it take a, takes a while to get a headstone because they're so pricey. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, you know. And uh, But like I say, you know, um, just stay positive, man. If there's anybody out there that can help out a little bit, Ace, once I start working again, uh, uh, you know, again and making that money, uh, you know, I'll try my best to help out a little bit with what I can. You know, you've done you've done a lot for us, you know, Um and uh, uh, did you see my knives? He did see them. I sure. Yeah, we him. still got the knives. Matter of <laughs> fact, the the scissors to the knife set just broke. Oh. They're around here, as a matter of fact, somewhere. Um. Yeah, just broke. broke the other day because I think I had I would soak them in water and I wasn't using them or whatever and shit like that. Hurting. Yeah, we're about to get off of here in a minute. So um. Uh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So um. Yeah, man, you know, like like I say, we just try to stay positive and happy and focused, uh, laugh at the haters, and uh, continue doing our fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Going to Asheville this weekend, guys, we're going to get some good vlogs in for you all. I know it's been a few days, you know, we're definitely going to get back into that. I know you all enjoy the live streams, too, though. You know, we tend to uh, we tend to uh, uh, get more views probably off of the live streams than, than the vlogs. Right. You know, but I know a lot of y'all still enjoy the vlogs as well, like seeing us get out and do things with our lives. And uh, we enjoy sharing it with you. You know, it means a lot to us. You all mean a lot to us. And um, and yeah, we're going to continue doing the right thing, the positive thing. And uh, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah.
So fun, fun. Two hundred and eight mm. people. Y'all do me. Wow, two hundred and eight people. That awesome. That is so cool. Thank you very much. We love you guys. And uh uh <laughs> yeah. Cody Wample, we love you, man. We'll see you tomorrow. Chris Russell, Junior Gutierrez, we love you, brother. Frank Avila, Dan Rob nine Smith ninety seven, Christian Shad, Jasmine, Jasmine. I said Jasmine, Jasmine, send us your uh your um your address in a DM. We want to send you a, a Christmas card or something. Uh, all of you guys that helped us out with this heater, guys, it's a really nice heater. We spent every penny. We got four hundred and twenty dollars raised up from all y'all. Thank you so much. Four twenty. And what did <laughs> we spend? Four hundred nineteen dollars and forty eight cents. <laughs> so if any of y'all want that fifty cent back, we'll be happy to, <laughs> to send that to you. And uh, we'll also do a video of us putting this damn thing together. That should be fun. You know. Yeah. So uh Scott Johnson, yeah. Brandy Renee, we love you. Weenas Goochman, Tiffany Silvis, Kevin Zerfus, thank you, Kevin, for modding tonight. Ace, we love you, man. Paul Guest, thank you so very much. We got your uh address. Sending y'all something too. Paul donated. And uh yeah, Tan May, we love you, man. Roddy Strong, uh Carrie Racy, Ace Man, Uncle Ace Charisma, man. all y'all guys, man. Uncle thank you for watching. Kristen Shadrick. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And we'll holler at y'all next time, man. Mwah. Love, peace, and uh... chicken grease. <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever. I